might be a little bit loud, I apologize. <laughs> because Nick told me to. Yeah. Oh, hey! Clucking the childs. Damn it. God damn it, Dangle Clacks. Hey! <laughs> What's happening? Dangle Clacks, no big deal. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, now that those are out of the way, hello and welcome. Welcome and hello. Today is Mother Truckin' Thursday, which means it's Mother Truckin' Vlog Day. You're in the right space. Raw Chuck. I see Raw Chuck. Shout out to Raw Chuck, Microwave Oven, freaking Lo-Fi for Llamas, reminding us all to lick the screen. It's Mother Truck and Steve-O, it's Jordy, it's Cherokee, it's Addie Tooney, it's Dune 2, Dilly Rice, Cicero, holy shit, Hungry Hippos is here, Russell Brand is here, Daniel B is here, J Money, Mother Truckin' Land, Mother Truckin' Shark is here. We're getting the band back together, you guys. It's happening. We're doing it. <laughs> We're getting the band back together. Anyway, it's vlog day, you guys. I really appreciate you being here. Best day of the week, best day of the week, funnest day of the week. There's a lot to talk about tonight. There's a lot to talk about tonight. I'm going to try not to go long, and I just want to make an announcement right at the beginning of this vlog right now that there's not. I'm not going to have any streaming next week. No fiddle on Twitch, no vlog anywhere. I'm just I'm going up to Santa Rosa to visit my dad next week, and, and that's just how it is, and I'm not going to be around. So that's going to be a thing. Like It's going to be a little bit more regular of a thing, and I'm going to try to vlog as much as humanly possible and stream as much as humanly possible. But as I talked about in a prior vlog, there's just a lot of extenuating life circumstances going on right now. So next week, unfortunately, there will not be a vlog. So let's Let's soak it in, you know? Let's steep in it right now. Let's just get in that vlog hot tub and just just bubble. Just just feel the bubbles, you know, all over your all over your body. Anyway, here's what we got coming up tonight, you guys. I really appreciate you being here. Go long. Okay. Megs is demanding that I go long. Go long. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Megs. I'm just kidding. For anybody that doesn't know the inside joke, that could that would appear that I'm being mean to you. I'm not. I'm just kidding around. I'm just kidding around. Here's what we got coming up tonight, you guys. How to, how's it going? I'm going to say hi. We got a beer, of course. We got a beer from Mike Mother Truck and D. I saw him in the chat. He brought this over to my house to enjoy, and then none of us enjoyed it, but I am going to enjoy it tonight. We got a beer. We got what I've been vaping. We got Assignment Planet Globe, what you guys have been vaping. I'm going to have some U.S. Canada news chunks. We're going to do a retro vaping. I'm going to have some Australia, U.K. news chunks. We're going to do some... Re uh, va uh, what are you new here? What are you new here? <laughs> Apparently, after that, we're going to do... I have a mess of mail. I have a, a metric uh, truckload. A metric truckload? Metric truckload of mail. Of course, we're going to have some very random liquid tastings. Of course, we're going to sing happy birthdays. Oh, my God. We have a full-on action-packed vlog. I think I think we just need to kind of start getting into this. Um, FDA kind of told the truth. We're going to get there, too. And here, here's how I'll wrap up, like, summarize all the news and advocacy tonight. I'm more hopeful for the United States of America, as far as vaping is, than I ever have been. I'm less hopeful for the United Kingdom than I ever have been. And I'm also more hopeful for Australia than I ever have been, which is weird. We're just in a weird time right now. It feels like we're in bizarro land a little bit. You'll see when we get to, to news and advocacy, but it's like bizarro world. And, and some of the things are good. Some of the things are good, but you still go, that's bizarre that it's going down this way. Like, don't get me wrong. This is a good thing. But the, the way we got here is is real. Uh, 
is real weird. Anyway, I'm kind of just rambling here at the beginning. So first things first, a metric mess of mail, the triple M, the full, the full suite, the MMM, the metric mess of mail coined by Ben D. Thank you, Ben D. Appreciate you. What I would like to do, and if Ben D wants to join me, let's have a beer. Let's there it is. We're doing Golden Druck. We're doing the Golden Druck tonight. It is the uh, 9,000 quad, an exceptional golden amber quad. Yeah, that looks good. But what do we got here? 10.7% uh, and this is a gigantic bottle. So chances are I'm not going to be able to consume this entirety in, in its entirety tonight. <laughs> and I don't know that I want to. I don't know that I want to. And it's got a cork and hashtag cork fear is real. That's still a really very real thing that happens. I get terrified and scared of corks when they come out, and that's okay. I haven't had Gulden Drock in so long. So long. It's the Drock, you know? It's the Gulden Drock. It's, it's everything. Whoops. Whoops. Just some more dangle clacks. I remember the very first time I ever had Gulden Drock was at glacier practice. We were at band practice. It was a glacier practice, and we were practicing down in the Doom Room, and Rich and I used to go to... I can't remember the name of the place, but it was like a beer place, like like a total wine type of thing, but just beer. And they had a cooler in the back that you could like a big walk in cooler. You could go in there and buy kegs and buy whatever and six packs of cold beer. And it was great. And I remember going there and I, I bought this based solely, solely on the way that the bottle looked solely on the way that the bottle looked. It's the same way that I used to uh, buy metal albums, you know? Back in the day before the internet, you just find a gory album cover with a band name that you can't read, and you're like, I'm gonna love this. <laughs> I love this already, let's buy this. I don't know what it sounds like. They were always good, that's how I stumbled upon Cannibal Corpse. And that's how I stumbled upon Golden Drock. So the moral of the story is just willy-nilly, doesn't matter. You need to don't do no research, just buy things. <laughs> Just, just do things. Just what? <sighs> that gave me a fucking heart attack. Oh my god, that was intense. That scared the ever loving bejesus out of me. Ever loving bejesus. We're gonna be drinking this out of a uh, mana pint glass. You're not feel familiar with the the biggest rock band from Mexico. In, I mean, in the world, it's mana. Let's gonna let's pour this. As, as gently as we can, right over the keyboard. Yep, it's gonna have a head to drink through. That's for sure. I'm supposed to pull the cork out with my teeth, Scott says. Scott says I'm supposed to pour, pull the cork out with my teeth. I feel like that's maybe bad advice. <laughs> I feel like that might be not awesome advice. Look at that, look at the drock. Look at the drock, don't you just wanna drink it? I can taste this before I've even put it in my mouth. It's just freaking delicious. Yeah, you go to the Sam Goody, you know, you go to Tower Records and, you know, you don't, I don't know what to buy. You look at the album covers. Exactly. Those days of just choosing what cassette to buy. I remember the reason that I bought uh, Cathedral, one of my, one ended up being one of my favorite bands, Cathedral. Okay, we're good. Cathedral, I didn't buy it based on the album cover because the album cover was kind of lame, but I looked on the back and it said that the singer, it's like Lee Dorian screams. And it was like, this guy guitars, this guy drums, this guy bass, this guy screams. And I saw that word screams and I went, this is for me. This is for me, I want this. <laughs> and I bought Cathedral and it was nothing like I, I had hoped it was, but anyway. We've talked about Cathedral plenty of times. Cheers, you guys. Happy Mother Truck and Vlog Day. I hope you got something delicious next to you tonight. I mean, 
it's the drock. It kind of tastes like, this is gonna sound negative, but I don't mean it to sound negative because uh, it's really, really good, but it kind of tastes like tree bark, like the tree bark from like a, like, like picture like the Pacific Northwest, like Seattle, where it's just wet all the time and like moss grows on everything. And then there's like big trees up there, like big, like Douglas fir pine trees that have like that thick, soggy bark from sitting in the rain and the moss. And like, you know, there's like minerals from the earth in this tree bark. That's a weird explanation for beer, but that is kind of the vibes that I get from this. It's like a earthy, spicy, like moist, wet ass tree bark flavor. Wet ass tree bark. I'm really selling this golden drock. Everybody, you're like, I want to go buy one now. From a good tree. Yeah, from a good tree, sick boy. From a good tree. From like a mighty tree with thick bark and it's wet, you know? I don't know. It's like that earthy, moist dankness that I get from this. Beskar over on Twitch. Wet ass. A little bit. A little bit. No, not wet ass. It's too delicious. This is a problem. This beer is delicious. It's got that Belgian yeast characteristic that I can never like place my finger on. Like I can't. I have a hard time describing it, but I taste it every single time. And I go, oh, it's that flavor. But that flavor like doesn't have a name that I can attach to it. Wet tree, the old wet tree beer. But it's like, there's a little bit of carameliness. There's a little bit of like maltiness to it. Golden Drock. In fact, let's see, what, is an, what do experts say about this beer? I am not an expert. Uh, I just am a fan. I just taste it, you know. But I want to see what the experts, what a real expert has to say about this beer. Golden Drock, okay. Uh, extremely high malt content, bringing a deep red triple is unique, wonderful, highly re recommended. Aroma is a bit boozier. That's not a good review. Dark red fruits, apples, cranberries, plum, dates, cherry, almost a little red wine, caramel sweetness with just enough bitterness to keep it from being cloying goes down incredibly easy for a 10.5% all around excellent. That person is clearly an expert on beer and I agree with him. Imagine that. Kent, Kent's here. Kent's here. Uh, listen, Kent, I'm not going to be able to finish this. There's no way. I mean... We'll see. It doesn't mean I'm not going to try. <laughs> it's not going to... Duval. Beskar. Duval. Pirat. Yeah. I had both of those uh, in Belgium. You can't, you can't like turn a street corner without seeing like Duval billboards everywhere in Belgium. It's crazy. It was crazy. We had Westie up there in Belgium. It was awesome. You, you have good taste, Beskar. I like you. <laughs> Let's drink some more beer. Hmm. This might be like my favorite beer. I know I say that a lot <laughs> about a lot of things and a lot of different beers, but Golden Drock, I it's it's the Drock. I can't explain it. It's just delicious. Like honestly, this next to St. Bernardus ABT12, you might even have a hard time like telling them apart. They're so very slightly similar. They have those like Belgian characteristics, you know, to them and they're delicious. What's up to you, Cloud Chucker? Appreciate you being here, Cloud Chucker. Speaking of Cloud Chucker, let's chuck some clouds. Let's, uh, before we get into any super chats, let's pop over to uh, Kitchen Guy. Let's see what's been vaping. Let's, let's see. Let's go. What, what, Kitchen Guy, go. What I've been vaping. Oh, hey, what's up, what's up, guys? Kitchen Guy, back here, yeah, to talk about the things that have been really getting vaped. Now, let me tell you, there's been some developments here at Grim Green Industries. The week that... What am I... Do am I new here? That was last week's. Unreal. Bush League. Bush. That is Bush League shit right here. You know, I, I should hold myself to a little bit higher of a state. Hang on one second, please.
This should be the uh, correct one. Well, it's that time again to see what really has been getting vaped out here with Kitchen Guy. First things first, look, there's a lot less out here than there has been in the past. Kitchen Guy hasn't been able to swipe like everything cool from the office guy. There's a few pods out here. There's the Dylan because it's the Dylan and it vapes great. There's the Argus P2, G2, G3. No, that's a Cali burn. This is the Argus G2. 1,376 puffs later, still going strong. That new Soren pod that we got last week in the vlog, yeah, I've been going ham on it. We're 300 puffs in. Good, highly good right now, still. The last pod, shout out to Earn. It's the, it's the orange Cross Pro. Love the Cross Pro, L love it more now that it's in orange. There's a .9 coil head in here, amazing. I mean, I've said it before, I've said it too many times. The Cross coil heads have just, proven themselves to me. We got an Asmodus restricted lung out here. The review for this should be up tomorrow. If Office Guy can get his rear in gear today and finish editing that before the vlog, then it'll be up on Friday. Putting six milligram in a restricted lung has changed my life. I don't know why I didn't do this sooner, but using different nicotine strengths in different vapes, look, there's always time to learn something new. That fact has been blowing my mind recently. Like 12 milligram in a mouth to lung RTA or a mouth to lung Boro or a mouth to lung pod. I do six milligram on single coils, like a single coil, coil Boro or a single coil RTA. And then for dual coils, three milligram. It just works. The system works. Six milligram Omboyosi Mango. That's life. That's that's life. The Empire is still hanging out with the P22 on top, despite the sound that the P22 makes. And I was out here and I did some just random drip tip science. In fact, here, let's do some random drip tip science right here. I'm gonna grab this smaller drip tip, the one that was on there before. We're gonna take a little toot. We're gonna notice no sound. Maybe not no sound, but substantially less sound. Now, I'm gonna take this black drip tip, which is just a little bit taller. It's just a little bit taller. And then suddenly, now I get a lot more sound. So I like the P22, but it can't have too long of a drip tip because too long of a drip tip seems to make it make more sound than if it has a short drip tip. I don't know. A, a gigantic box of these life pods showed up last week in the vlog as well. It's essentially a disposable. It's like a disposable with extra steps. There's a little reservoir down here that as we can see is about halfway empty. And then we have a full reservoir up here which can be filled using the smaller reservoir down here but the pod doesn't come off in any way. The coil head doesn't come out in any way. There's no adjustable airflow. There's no adjustable wattage or anything. It's literally a disposable with extra steps and they're obsessed with that tastes like gum. This is incredible. It's too much nicotine for me, so I have to use it really, really like super sparingly. But every once in a while, I'll take like five or six rips of this delicious spearmint. It's just tasty. It's just tasty, but it's too damn much nicotine. If I could get this in like a 10 milligram, then I'd be sold, then I'd be vaping it. I got my dirty billet box with the Nitsu on the inside, the NTSU, also known as the Nitsu, I believe it's called Nitsu. A lot of people have corrected me that it is the Nitsu. Nitsu on the inside, uh, Lunar Sweet Mango. This is only a three milligram, so that kind of ruins the whole <laughs> like nicotine system that I have set up. But this is only a three milligram in a restricted lung, but I like it because there's so much culotta in it. It's Lunar Sweet Mango, and it kind of gives me a little bit of like a six milligram -y vibe, I guess. That's like, uh, I'm just gonna keep that set up forever. And lastly, like the last banger that I have out here that I have been enjoying like more than I care to admit, it's the Dead Rabbit V2 RDA. 
It's the Dead Rabbit V2 RDA on top of the Vaporesso DeWalt, the Armor Max. It's literally just a 0.13 dual coil, 95 watts. There's nothing really too like fancy or special about this. Just a rugged mod with a dual 21700 and a like surprisingly awesome vaping and reliable RDA on top. Twisted Timmy's, Twisted Timmy's paradigm shift is on the inside. I mean this. Get out of here. This is good. Good. Just just damn good. That's like the cloud chaser of the of the kitchen right now. I legitimately think that the six milligram Omboy Mango in this little Asmodus restricted lung has been like my favorite thing of the week. Just my, just my favorite thing of the week. It's just so satisfying, so tasty. There's a lot less out here than I thought there was gonna be. There's definitely nothing from Living Room Guy, so I'm gonna throw it back Desk Guy because I know for sure that there are some Desk Warriors. Honestly, Desk Guy has all the cool stuff this week. Yeah, I do. Desk Guy has, look, Desk Guy has all the cool stuff this week. Apart from last week's very random liquid tasting that is still st still going strong. Shout out to you, uh, 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 Boyles, Will Boyles, Will, for the uh, Asmodus. They're back. Minikin Barrage combo. It's got uh, Onyx in it right now. It's from last week. It's the Black Licorice uh, Menthol. I love, I love it. I love it. It's been getting used. Um, this has been getting shit tons of use. This was on the fiddle on thir on Tuesday, rather. It's the Gar. It's the Gar with the Oxford Orbita. <laughs> Orbita. I said that on, on Instagram. The Oxford Orbita on a Gar. The Oxford Orbita on a Gar. It's amazing. There's a uh, Mango and Cohen here from Fluid. Mango Coconut. Get out of here. All for desk guy. All for desk guy. Um, this it's the dirty uh, it's the dirty raga, and it's got the the, you know what is that? The wicked, the bridged 1.2 in there in a mouth to lung, but it just hasn't been getting any use. I'll be honest. I'm so like the flavor is so not great on that, especially when I compare it to this, which has the sturdy. The sturdy RBA on the inside in the sturdy fuck dot mod. This mouth to lung is glorious, glorious, spectacular, flavorful, crispy, tight. This puts that bridge, that wicked bridge to, to shame, to shame. What, fucking Oxford Arbiter? You put the Oxford Arbiter on the gaw. Get out of here. Get out of here. That is good. I think that's really it. There's a king. The king of the week is this. The king of the week is this. This is just the king. I cannot put this thing down. It's the Fenrir. It's a series 21700. The Hattie. Haiti Hattie is on top. Matching Ultem with the matching Ultem. Matching Shiny with the matchy Shiny. I love this this it's series it's a 0.3 running on a series mech with the kaz if you can hear me this this liquid has no business being this good it's just a strawberry banana ice cream sandwich but i love it this is i'm just gonna say it i'm just gonna say it this is the best strawberry banana i think i've ever had like in my years of vaping, in the whatever 14, 15 years I've been doing this, I've always wanted a good strawberry banana. And when we first started vaping back in the day, that's all anyone wanted to make was strawberry bananas. Every DIY was a strawberry banana, strawberry banana, strawberry banana. Vendors were selling strawberry banana because it's like that was the most common sense flavor. We're like, oh, strawberry banana. That's been in smoothies. That's been in fruit juices. That's been in everything. Everybody loves strawberry banana, except none of them were good. This is crazy good. I'm convinced there's actually no banana in this. It's just tricking my brain into thinking there's banana in this. And that is one of the things that is so impressive about this. I'm a strawberry guy. I'm a banana guy. I love both of those flavors and they are together in this. I mean, it's a chef's kiss. It's a chef's kiss. It's crazy. 
Yeah, this is the Twisted Timmy's. This is the Timmy's FDH strawberry banana ice cream sandwich. It slaps. It slaps. There's I'm I I tried to not like rave about it. I set this up on the Twitch uh, on Twitch on the fiddle and I was trying at that time to not just go, "Oh my god, this is the best juice I've ever had in my life." I was trying to like be like, "Oh, it's good. You know, it's real good. Strawberry banana, real good." I'm past that. I'm past that. I've been vaping it since Tuesday nonstop and it is good. Whoa. Really, really good. Really, really good. And I know it sounds like such a simple flavor. It's like strawberry banana. But dude, it is strawberry banana that's going to like rough you up, you know? It's just good. This is the king. King of the week. Series with the Haiti. I love it. I love this RDA. I love this mech. I love this liquid. The coils on the inside, they're twisted Timmy's. They're great. It was a little bit of a struggle, but they're great. Shout out to uh, Apathy Miller. Apathy Miller over on the Twitch when we were doing the fiddle on Tuesday. Lifesaver. He gave me the pro tip that saved that build. Pro tip that saved the build. My beer just keeps getting full. That's weird. I drink it down, just keeps getting full. That's weird. I don't know what to tell you. Let's real quickly, before we get to uh, Assignment Planet Globe, I would like to read some, uh, some of those super chats that came in. Almost the whole bumper. Almost the whole bumper, but not quite. Chef Seamus. Chef Seamus, you're not even going to be here tonight. Oh, my evening plans changed, so ha so I'm happily going to actually be here. Happy MDVD, everyone. Yo, F and Yoy, put your dancing shoes on, but no shirts in the pit. Hell yeah, Seamus. Stoked, bro. I thought you were going to be working tonight. So I was like, oh, man, I got Chef Seamus' package here. Of a drip tip. And, it, and he's not even going to be here to enjoy it. And now you're here. Oh, I'm happy. J Money fucking land shark. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yo, yo, everyone. My birthday's on Sunday. Your name is hard to write and it's long. You're added to the birthday list, J Money Land Shark, and you can't stop me. Patrick Mother Truck and Conquest Pants. Hey, man, I just want to say thank you for all you've done. I listened to a fuck ton of Good Charlotte today and I feel better. Good Charlotte will always, it's just so posy, isn't it? It's just so posy, Patrick. It's just so posy that you can't, you can't listen to Good Charlotte and not smile a little bit, bro. I love you, Patrick Conquest. I appreciate you, pimp. I hope, I hope you're doing awesome. Send me more AI songs. You know I'm going to listen to them. Kaz Kaz, happy vlog day. Love you, Nick, and all the cool kids. Kaz, I think I speak for literally every individual cool kid i speak on behalf of all of them we love you bro we love you kaz you we love you you've brought so much to us you know you just you your personality your life the kaz kaz the fdh we we like it we appreciate you pimp we appreciate you maybe more than you know kaz and really the strawberry banana is I mean, I'm going to vape it again. It's just good. Taste this liquid and then you come back here and you tell me that it's not good. Because it's awesome. Hungry Hippo. OJ is in purgatory trying to get through. <laughs> Came to me to convince me he was innocent. If I don't believe, I gave Grim Green five bucks. So here's five bucks. Yeah, yeah. About that. Here's the thing. When the OJ thing was going down, I have a weird association with the OJ thing because when the OJ thing was going down for the first time and the white blazer was driving down the 405, I was at church camp. So I didn't know that anything was going on. I get I, the week ends and we're like all, you know, pumped up on the Holy Spirit and we get back out into the world and we're like, what? OJ got arrested. That's weird. I feel like I missed 
a, like a big monumental, you know, cultural significant event. I just missed it. I came out and OJ was already arrested. I missed the whole chase. I missed the whole everything. I missed it all. You know, and say what you will about OJ Simpson, but a dude was funny as shit in the naked gun. Like <laughs> that guy was funny. That was funny. The naked gun was funny. Funny. Kaz Kaz, who's ready for all the fun? This guy. Hashtag we outside. I like Kaz. Uh, you're the eternal hustler. You're just trying to pump, pump, pimp your brand and I like it. FDH. Kaz Kaz, the vlog has landed. Aliens are outside. Hashtag, <laughs> Hashtag horse spice. Hashtag horse spice. Wait, where did I write those down? Horse spice, horse joes, horse juice. Horse juice. Horse spice. That was a... Where did that start? The, the patron Instagram? Horse spice? <laughs> Appreciate you, Kaz. DD damn it. By all means, tend to pop a green. No stream next week is cool. That just means I have to skip around the room tonight. Since my birthday is next Friday, the big damn, the big 61. Damn, I was 25 yesterday. Yes, Didi, you were 25s yesterday. That's just what happens. Uh, dude, I was 25 yesterday. I was 25 literally yesterday. I was a barista at Starbucks literally a few days ago. I remember making Don his extra hot, extra foamy latte just a few days ago. I was at Starbucks, right, Didi? <laughs> Didi, damn it. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. We were all 25 a few minutes ago. And here's the thing, Didi. This is the this is the realization that I've had is that, and I think everybody's gonna resonate with this, is that mentally. I don't really feel any over like 26, 30 years old, you know, I still feel like I could take that Chilean hockey, you know, Chilean heli skiing trip. Like, I feel like I could still do that. I can't, I can't, but I feel like I could because my brain's like, you're 30. <laughs> you can do anything you want. You're fine. You're great. You're 30. Everything's great. Turns out it's not. Turns out I have to get a colonoscopy, you know? Turns out age is a thing that happens. Skip around the room, Dee. I'm going to sing happy birthday to you. J Money Mother Truckin' Land Shark is back in the Patreon. Yo, yo, my dude. Yo, yo, J Money Land Shark. It's good to see you. It's good to see your face. I can't wait to talk about animals with you. Can't wait to give you some dog updates. Appreciate you, homie. Fact YouTube. I'm hearing rumors of a flavor ban and an 80% tax in Rhode Island. You are probably hearing things correctly. There are um, 36 active CASA calls to action right now. 36 active CASA calls to action right now. Rhode Island, Rhode Island has never been a fan of vaping. Rhode Island has been trying to ban vaping and ban flavors and tax vaping out of existence like since the very beginning. Rhode Island, the only conclusion I can, can come the only conclusion I can come to is that Rhode Island has a lot of master settlement business. <laughs> a lot of master settlement business. I mean, to us, it's very black and white, right? Like we can see states like Ohio and New Jersey and Rhode Island and California and Washington who are involved in these master settlement tobacco agreements who are close to defaulting on their bonds that the money that they already spent, it's pretty transparent to see that they're just trying to make up those MSA payments. That's all they're trying to do, 100%. What was this beer? 10%? All right, I need to calm down uh, on the beer. Rob. Rob says, thank you for being you, sir. Rob, thank you for being you. I appreciate you, pimp. I see you all the time in the chat. I, I really appreciate you. You have no idea. Mike D. Yo, yo, Nick. Enjoy the GD, GD. <laughs> Moo Liquid's banana milk acquired today. So that will be headed to you. Anywho, hashtag ass mode. <laughs> Love you and the cool kids. Mike D, 
Dude, I love you, bro. I hope you're doing awesome. It's it's just a matter of time, Mike D, before you and me and Frames Janklin and Rhett's beard, we're all going to get together. We're going to go ride Ghost Rider again. I want to do it again. I want to do a, like, a, like a summer Ghost Rider at night. I really want to do another summer Ghost Rider at night. That's like that's i'm i'm an atheist i'm a, i'm not a religious man but that's my new religion ghost rider at night will just clear your head you have anxiety ghost rider at night you got depression ghost rider at night you're dealing with a bad breakup ghost rider at night you're dealing with you know you got passed over for a promotion at your job i know that sucks but ghost rider at night ghost rider at night cures cures what ails you Let's see. I believe this person to be trapped musings, but they're going by sidetracked and searching for a cigarette. Let's see what they have to say. Had to sit on my old reserve bar fly stool at the pub last night drinking water, not schooners of Great Northern or other alcohol. Was very strange. Yeah. When I was uh, when I was hanging out with a bunch of straight edge kids, I used to hang out with the straight edge kids in Reno all the time because we were in, we were in bands together. You know, I was in a band with some straight edge kids and we would play a lot of bars because that's, you know, when you're a struggling musician and you're in a, in a metal band and you're in a hardcore band, you play wherever and we play a lot of bars and the straight edge kids at the bars are so awkward. <laughs> They're so awkward and they go up to the bar and they order a, a blue dolphin. A blue dolphin is water, you see. And so I got into the habit of ordering blue dolphins at the bar. You just get a, a cup of ice water. But all the bars in Reno know that the straight edge kids order blue dolphins. So you should have had some blue dolphins. You can sit there and feel a little bit confident. You're like, oh, barkeep, I'll have a blue dolphin when you have time. And then he just brings you an ice water and everyone's like, What's a blue dolphin? What's a blue dolphin? What's a blue dolphin? Just water. Just water for the straight edge kids who don't want to drink or smoke or do anything fun. That's fine. Barbara Burgess, don't forget the, don't forget to share the fundraiser for California. Love you. Yes. Hang your horses on this. There's a uh, fundraiser. My cousin Barbara, we're trying to get some senior kids to California for a band trip. There's a PayPal donation. If anybody wants to donate any money, uh, it would be great. It would be really beneficial. We get some band nerds out to California. You know, I love the band nerds. I always support the band nerds. I was a band nerd myself. I played trumpet for many, many years in concert band and marching band, even though we didn't really march. It was more of a pep band. Get them out to California. Heck yeah, Barbara. Hey, Barbara. Hey, love you. That's my actual cousin, everybody. It's not weird that she's here every time. It's like we're hanging out again. Boob sweat leads to pearl necklaces. Hi. That's my new favorite username of all time. Hope your FDA news is good. Really need good news. It's like, listen, it's like we're going to get into it next. We're going to get into it next. We're going to talk about the USA and Canada next. So just hang out for a hot minute. I'll tell you everything that's going on. Frank Neal, I just want to say, like I say every week, yo yo and Kaz Kaz, that new liquid is off the chain. Off the chain. Off the chain. You're right. In fact, we should have some more right now. Strawberry banana. It just, it tastes like joy in your mouth. It tastes like happiness in your mouth. It tastes like a hug from your, from your best friend, you know? It's like a hug from Dwayne. That, that juice is like a hug from Dwayne. Frank Neal, hey man, I appreciate you. Just shit it out. You'll be all right. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, says, uh, oh, it's Melbourne. Melbourne, Australia, Melbourne. When we talk about Australia, I'll be sure to say Melbourne. Me <laughs> Melbourne. It's like saying Gothenburg. You know Gothenburg, Sweden? You can Google it. Gothenburg, Sweden. Big city in Sweden. And all of my life, I've called it Gothenburg, Sweden because I like In Flames, because I like Mustache, because I like a lot of bands that come from Gothenburg, Sweden. I always thought it was cool. I was like, Gothenburg. Oh, 
you know, it's so metal. It's like, I just imagine everybody in Gothenburg has like black nail polish and like they wear all black and they just mope around going, whatever, you know, Gothenburg, just a city of goths. It's actually, I learned the hard way that Gothenburg is pronounced get the boy, get the boy. I need someone to, someone from Sweden to correct me, but I believe it's called get the boy. Get the boy. And that's crazy that Americans call it Gothenburg, but it's pronounced get the boy. That's ridiculous. Worcestershire. <laughs> it's actually pronounced Worcestershire. <laughs> hey, Zag. Worcestershire sauce. Fascinating. Fascinating. Dialects. Love them. Accents. All about it. Urn says, uh, hella chats. Also, don't forget my birthday is on the 21st and Asphalt Cowboy is the 23rd. Thank you, Ern. Thank you, Ern. Ern, maybe it's the beer talking, but I really appreciate you, man. I really appreciate you. Very much. We got Ern and we got Asphalt Cowboy. Asphalt Cowboy just won a boosh box, so he's got a boosh box headed to him literally right now. He might have already received it. Appreciate you, Earn. And yes, I'm going to get to those hella chats right after the super chats. George Boy, I, I, George Boy, I love you. I, Nick, I love you, bro. I, Kaz, Kaz, love you, bro. George Boy, you're a legend. You're just a fucking legend. There's no way around it. It's I, Georgia boy. I love you, bro. Appreciate you, Georgia boy. I'm still going to catch you streaming someday. Don't think I won't. You know, I'm still going to catch you streaming someday, buddy. Tim, that's T-Bolt to you and me. I think tomorrow I may have to put my 13-year-old boxer pit down. She's just old and I'm sad tonight. Thank you for being here to me tonight, Grim and the cool kids. Hey, Grim, cool kids, love you. Tim. Bro, I love you. My heart goes out to you so hard. You're going to make me weepy. That's too sad. Fuck. I'm sorry, man. That's too sad. Maybe it's the beer talking, but fuck, that's sad. That's like, that's my worst fear uh, almost of all time is that I would have to put down a dog. That's sad. Hey, but hey, we're here for you. We're here for your dog. We love you, Tim. We love you, Tim. Appreciate you guys. And now, now, after Assignment Planet Globe, and nope, after the Super Chats, we're going to get into Assignment Planet Globe, which means... America, this is you. Let's hear it again, right? You want to hear it again. That's right. It's Assignment America time. Or as we call it on this stream, Assignment Planet Globe. Do you have a dope setup or many dope setups that you want to see featured on this stream? You can email me pictures of them. Nick at GrimGreen.com. Just make sure that your subject says Assignment Planet Globe. Chances are I'll see the attachment. It'll get downloaded, filed, and used accordingly on this stream. It's only fair that uh, you guys show me what you have been vaping, what you have been vaping, because I show you what I have been vaping. Let's see. Terry. Terry G. Terry G coming in hot. Terry G with the stubby. With the, uh, I don't think Terry G had, a, had an email here. No, there's no Terry G email. So what, we got a stubby. We got a... Uh, a tech mod that's like my white whale. I love that mod. We have a geek vape something. We got a loss vape something. We got an SX something. I don't know what's on top of any of those. If anybody can ID them, that would be amazing. I don't know what's on top. One of those looks like a geek vape. One of those looks like the retro vape we're going to have tonight. Then there's a not a billet box in red next to that. There's an E-Leaf Pico squeeze next to that. And then finally on the end, the Cloud Chaser. That's got to be Steam Crave. That's got to be some Steam Crave, something or other. Big RDT on, big RTA on top, big device. That just screams, screams. Ugh. Pardon me. 
Pardon me. <clears throat> Pardon me. Pardon me. Dang. Shout out to the incense holder. <laughs> Shout out to the incense holder. Got some Nog Chompa going on there. That's rad. Rad. Thank you, Terry. Thank you, Terry G, for sending those in. Uh, we got Smiley. Wait, hang on. Smiley writes in and says, Smiley from the replay crew here. See, th this is, I want the replay crew people to be able to hang out with the live people because I feel like I have like two sets of like groups of friends it's like, yeah, fuck yeah, replay crew, hashtag replay crew. And I get to talk to them in the comments. And then on the live, it's like live crew. I get to talk to you live and in the chat. And I want these two worlds to like come together. I want all of the replay crew people to be able to come and watch the live and like hang out with the live people. Worlds would collide. W worlds would be colliding. Is that what that was? Red mongrel RDA Zion vlog says that's the red mongrel that I think that is the red mongrel. I think you're right about that Zion. You're definitely right about that. I don't know what the, what the, what the fake billet box is next to it. It looks cool though. I like that the buttons over the tank. I like those clear panels. I don't know what that is though. I don't know what that is. Becca says that the Titan sucks. The Steam Crave Titan, is that what that is? The place, uh, the screen, all over the place on the screen settings? Okay, Becca, that's a bummer. That's a bummer, Becker. Bummer, Becker. That's a bummer, Becca. But wait, there's more. We got Smiley. Smiley sending in a, a assignment planet globe. This is Smiley from the replay crew here. Sadly, your vlog starts overtime at 1.30 a.m. for me since I live in Australia. But I love your vlogs and videos. I want to thank you for them. I switched to vaping with my girlfriend in September 2022 on the picture of my devices left to right. Oxvapod bought for events and driving so I don't need to carry a mod with me. The X-Vape x, -Vape x -Promiser V5 on the Lost Vape Thelema Solo for mouth to lunging and driving. My Watofo Profile RDA on the Odin V2, daily banger for literally everything. And my Mad Hatter Mini on the Thelema Quest Liquid Tasting Desk Warrior, which I will replace in the future. Best regards, Smiley. Smiley? Hell yeah, hashtag replay crew. Fuck yeah, Smiley. I really like that white, whatever the white lost vape is, that is really doing it for me. I really like that. And you got a good pod. You got the Oxva. You got the Oxva pod. Let's talk to, uh, thank you, Smiley. Thank you. Let's talk to uh, Neon Fear real quick. Neon Fear sends in an email that says, I decided to send you a, a photo of coils that I make myself. I figured it would be more interesting than devices. Well, I'll throw off my part of the collection. In fact, I already have more than 70 devices in my hands. 70? You, that might be more than me. That might be more than me. Thanks for your videos. Uh, Neon Fear, here's the coils. Okay. I mean, those are undeniably some clean ass coils, Neon Fear clean coils there's some staggered uh thingy medeals right there can't uh can't id those they look staggered to me those look staggered right i think that's a staggered thing but wait there's more neon fear sends in the stubby x-ray that neon fear is using and the bridges. He's got a mission dot. He's got a something else. He's got another thingy that I don't exactly know what it is, but that's what he's using neon fear. Honestly, not Terry. These are some super clean aliens. Like that's just crazy clean aliens. That's a beautiful picture. Why is, why are alien coils so cool? Why are they so cool? I don't know why they why they're so cool, Neon Fear. But hey, appreciate you, Neon Fear. Thank you, uh, Heath. Hang on, Heath sent in an email. I want you to look at the puff counter at the top of that. Uh, Heath says uh, nothing special. Asgard Mini with a BMM Tiny uh, 2.5. I've had my hand since January 2019 with the same juice that got me off the stinkies back in 2018. Bad drips, drooly. Had the board swapped. 
He says, I had the board swapped 17,000 hits ago when it hit 550,000 hits. Holy shit. He said it started auto firing and uh, they replaced it after the board went bad. Uh, he says, this is my go-to setup. I can't get it out of my hand when I'm not working. The work mod is also uh, Watofo Squonk by Tony B with the same RDA. I'm boring. He says, I can't get into Boro, but I've tried a few. I don't know what to do. Look at the puff counter. That is 387,213 puffs. Oh, that's a KB2 back there? Sorry, I forget that there's a delay. That's the KB2? The black KB2? I get you. I should have recognized that, you know? I didn't, Hayes. But Heath... 387,213 puffs. 387,000 puffs. I feel like an amateur now when I get on YouTube and I'm like, put a thousand puffs on this pod, performing really good so far. And then Heath comes in and goes, oh, that's cute. That's hilarious. Why don't you try 300,000 puffs? And here's the device itself. And it's, uh, you know, the puffs are much less. It's only uh, 17,000 puffs on this. But that's his go-to. That's his go-to. I don't think I've ever put that many puffs on anything. But then again, I don't have like, you, hey, Zing, you got 75,000 puffs? That's still impressive. That's still impressive. I'm going to try to keep track of puffs on this gar. I'm going to try to keep puff checks puffs on this gar. I got 500 on this tank right now. Five hundred and sixteen. I don't think I could ever even get approach 300,000 puffs. That is banana cakes times infinity. Is uh, Legos here? Where are you at? Fucking stepped on Legos. Fucking stepped on Legos. Legos, uh, he said, hi, this is part two, highlighting the mods you were curious about. I was. From left to right, MMV, Metal Madness Vapors, Palm BF V2 Squonker, and a 415.0 RDA. Sick. I have never heard of any of those, and I like it. The next to that is a Tech Division Legacy. Sick. With a 415 mouth to lung RTA. Sick. Tech Division Shred V3. It has the DNA Go board and flashes E Vapor. Amazing. And then Tech Division Compact version 3.2. Those are all sick. Those are all sick. The Shred. I, why do I want that device so badly? That shred is something I'm just after. Look how cool. That shred is cool. That shred is cool. Tim says, I have 13,987 on my gar. Damn. Damn, bro. I wish Mex, had, yeah, Kevin Chocolate. I wish Mex had puff counters. Same. See, this is only 517, and I feel like I've been vaping the ever loving shit out of this. That palm, dude, Steve-O, yes. Whoops. The palm I want. The palm I want. Yes, in a big way. All right, lastly, the last assignment planet globe, Demented Designs. Hell yeah, Demented Designs. Where are you at? It's Demented Designs. Uh, uh, first picture from left to right, Blotto Max on the heavy hitter. I may, may, may be hidden. Marketplace Watermelon, Hula Berry Lime, Valkyrie XR, XL on the F4 by Lossimo. Not tracks. Uh, what else? Next is the 38 millimeter Voltro Velocity style deck with 5 millimeter Claptons in it. Whoa, Kenobi. What orange cream sickle? That sounds freaking delicious. That sounds freaking delicious. By FDH. Wait, where's the FDH? Yeah. Blue Raz Lemonade. Oh, I don't know why. <laughs> Shift sub tank with the 0.2 coil on the SX Mini G Class V2. Kaz in the tank. The OG Goon on the BP Mods Tomahawk. 
Squonker with a cherry cheesecake flavor from Beecher. This is the wrong picture. This is the correct picture. Were you wondering why nothing matched up? That's the correct picture. The next picture is the Empire with the Nitrous RDTA and 20, 21 grams by Twisted Timmy. The Hog with the Valhalla 40 and Gulf Breeze by Timmy. And then the Asgard 28 with a beauty ring and an awesome juice by Badfish called Alien Warfare. Strawberry, green apple, watermelon. That sounds effing delicious. Demented, that sounds delicious. Sorry for the long email, but the one I sent you didn't elaborate on my setups. Thank you for the elaboration. Thank you for the elaboration. And then the other demented designs, which I uh, misread completely. That's the Hammer of God. There's Kenobi. There's the BKAS. There's the Cherry Cheesecake. That's what we were looking for before. Thank you, Demented Designs. So in closing, if anybody has some setups that they want to see featured on the vlog, send them to me. It's nick at grimgreen.com. In fact, in fact, I'm going to announce that there's a new segment that I'm going to try to add into this here vlog. Hang on. Let me find it. And it's called Assignment Planet Shop. Yeah. Assignment Planet Shop. Are you ready for the bumper? Assignment Planet Shop. Assignments. 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 Assignment Planet Shop. This is for shops. Promote your shop on my stream, please. Any, this is open to any shop in the United States of America. Uh, you know what? Fuck that. Globally, don't care. I would love it to be the U.S., but globally, don't care. Promote your shop on my stream. I want to feature shops. I want Assignment Planet Shop. I want the name of your shop. I want pictures of your shop. I want... I want a little bio for your shop and how long you've been around and what you do and what you carry. And please promote your shop on my stream. We're going to start adding in Assignment Planet Shop where we hear from shop owners. Shop owners, uh, it doesn't even need to be an owner. You could be a manager. You could be assistant manager. You could just be the, the 4 p.m. shift guy. I don't care. You can put your shop on the stream. I want to hear from you. Assignment Planet Shop. Okay? Assignment. Even if you... <laughs> yes. Even if you spell it shop with an E on the end, I still want to hear from you. I still want to hear from you. Promote your shop for free on this stream. Just take some pictures, introduce yourself, tell me the name of your shop. I want to promote shops. We need to bring some more attention to vape shops. I'm a firm believer in this. That was the whole point of the vape tour back in the day in 2017 was to bring some attention to some shops that are still like cranking away in our country. Yes, that was a uh, the Patrick Conquest AI special uh, assignment planet shop. Assignment Planet Shop. Assignment Planet Shop. So, Assignment Planet Shop, nick at grimgreen.com. Just mark your subject, Assignment Planet Shop. And I want to see your shops. I want to see them. I want to see pictures. I want to know your employees. I want to know what you carry. I want to promote your shops on this stream because I still believe it's okay, Allie. You're not late. You, you arrive in perfectly when you intend to. I want to promote your shops. I want to promote your shops on this stream, period, point blank. I want to promote your shop. So Assignment Planet Shop, let's get on it, guys. Let's go. I know I have shop employees in this chat for sure. And I want to promote shops. I want to promote shops. I firmly, fir like, vape shops, I think, were the single most important thing for getting smokers in America to switch. They were critical. They were crucial. 
they were the front lines of getting someone who smokes into like a vape. Here you go. Here's a vape. They were the front lines. They're knowledgeable. They, they, you know, you could go into a vape shop and get recommendations about tanks, about pods, about liquids, about nick levels. They're subject matter experts. Vape shops have done more for public health in America than FDA, CDC, World Health combined. Vape shops have done it. So please let me promote your shop. Please let me promote your shop. It's a big part. Assignment Planet Shop. It's right there at the beginning. Assignment Planet Shop. Send them on over. Send them in. Nick at GrimGreen.com. Hell yeah. I want to hear from you. Now then, now that we've reached a little bit of a, what I would call a lull, what I would like to do, I don't, you know, it's okay. Let's, we're going to do a little bit a little news chunk. We got to talk about Canada. We talk, got to talk about the FDA. I know there was someone in the chat earlier saying, did the FDA actually say anything this time? Or is it awful like it always is? It's awful like it always is, but the FDA actually said something this time. So let's talk about it. News, yeah. News, yeah. This is just Canada. This is just Canada and the US right now. I don't have, uh, we're not talking about world health or, or, Australia at the moment, or the UK, or the UK. So the first thing I need to mention for Canadians, Rights for Vapors, head to rightsforvapors.com and take and, and do the, 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 the little survey here. Submit to the government, submit to the government on Rights for Vapors. This has been effective and they're getting up there in numbers. I think they just got over 20,000 uh, submissions on this petition. So if you're in Canada and you're against, you know, things like flavor bans and exorbitant taxes on these vapor products, please sign this petition. Please sign this petition. Rights for Vapors has a petition that's been successful, that's getting a lot of signatures. It's up over 20,000 signatures now, and we need more. They just need more, 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 more. So please go over to Rights for Vapors. That's for Vapors. I'll put a link in the description for all my Canadian peeps to get involved. But that's what's happening in Canada. They're going crazy. Mark Holland, he's the new health minister in Canada, and he seemingly loves tobacco cigarettes, wants to protect tobacco cigarettes sales at all cost by taxing vaping and flavor banning vaping out of existence. And that's what he wants to do. And it's crazy. And so please, please sign that petition. This is a new health minister that I don't think is like fully aware of like vaping, and what the vape community does and what we, what we represent and like the amount of petitions that we can sign. So let's, uh, let's help out our Canadian friends and do this petition. Let's do this petition. Few more updates real quick before we talk about FDA. Hang on, let me pop this tab out here. Uh, this is the registry bills. Uh, they're keeping us vaping with 360.com. Shout out to them. Super reputable, super reliable news source for vaping on the internet. These are the updates for the PMTA registry bills. Virginia passed the PMTA registry bill. Uh, Kentucky passed the PMTA registry bill. Vermont vetoed a flavor ban last month. That's the up. That's the good news. That's some of the good news. Vermont vetoed a flavor ban last month. Kentucky passed the PMTA registry bills. Uh, March 5th update. Let's see. Yeah. Vermont, March 8th. These are old. Florida passed their PMTA bill that could still get vetoed by Governor DeSantis. And I hope he makes the right choice and vetoes the PMTA registry bill. Now, here's the thing. I think this is just me with no real data, no real information. I'm just 
whatever, brainstorming. I get the vibe that this PMTA registry bills could possibly backfire in the states that have passed them because they go off of, we can only sell in this state what FDA has already authorized through the PMTA process. The problem is the whole PMTA process is on trial right now and is going to the Supreme Court right now. And if the Supreme Court rules against FDA, then all of these states that have passed PMTA bills are all suddenly going to have a shit ton of vapor products on the market. Everything from Triton distribution can be on the market in these states with PMTA registry bills, and they can be on the market until FDA revamps the PMTA process to the satisfaction of the Supreme Court judges. Keep in mind, this hasn't happened yet. This is all hypothetical. So it theoretically could really backfire. I think local city councils and local assembly people are really trying to ban vaping by putting these PMTA registry bills into place. But with one court ruling, these PMTA registry bills could suddenly allow a lot of products on the market. A lot of products on the market. So they could theoretically backfire. We're not there yet. Right now it's just bad news that they're passing. But, but, I think they could backfire. I think they could really backfire. Now, let's talk about, uh, hang on. Where's my damn ass uh, FDA logo? I had an FDA logo. Now I need to put the FDA warning on the screen. No, here it is, FDA. Let's talk about uh, the US Food and Drug Administration. So, uh, Robert Califf, Robert Robert Califf, I'm going to saw, say Califf, his name's Califf, but I call him Califf, but it's Califf. He got dragged up in front of the GOP uh, oversight committee to basically discuss like, hey, what the fuck's going on at FDA? What are you guys doing over there? W what is this? What are you doing with tobacco products? And they were hard and they grilled on him and they brought up things like tobacco harm reduction. They, th they, they brought up things like harm reduction. Yeah, weird. It's weird right now. I'm gonna say it's weird right now living in the United States where the FDA is now sort of promoting harm reduction, reluctantly and quietly promoting harm reduction while the UK, which was once the beacon of harm reduction, is going to tax and ban vaping out of existence in the country, it feels a little bit like bizarro world. You know, it feels a little bit like bizarro world. So what the FDA did is they took to Twitter and they said, hey, we did a thing. We released a thing. This is FDA's relative risks of tobacco products. What? relative risks of tobacco products? We've never heard this from FDA before. This is as of April 16th, 2024. So literally two days ago, significant process has been made in reducing cigarette smoking in the United States, blah, blah, blah. What is meant by relative risks of tobacco products? And of course, FDA says things and communicates things in a really, really confusing way. It can't be just cut and dry. It can't be like clear messaging. No, we have to have things like no tobacco product is safe. However, the health risks for different tobacco products exist on a spectrum which is sometimes referred to as a continuum of risk. Combusted or smoked tobacco products such as cigarettes are the most harmful. Non-combusted products such as e-cigarettes and other smokeless products generally have a lower health risk than cigarettes and other combustible products. That's all they needed to say. That right there is pretty clear messaging. They didn't need to include the confusing, no tobacco product, ex product is safe but these are safer. That's a weird way to message. That's 
I feel like that's just going to confuse people. FDA, I thought you said no tobacco product was safe. Oh yeah, but if you're a smoker, you should switch to these. Oh, so these would be safer for me. Yeah, but they're not safe. Why? Why? What? Why confuse people? Why not just tell them that vaping and e-cigarettes and snus are safer than smoking? There doesn't have to be this little caveat of like, well, remember, these are also really bad, but they can be really good, but they're also really bad. And they're mostly really bad, but they're also mostly really good. And they can save people's lives, except they're really bad, but they're really good in some cases, but they're really bad in some cases. This feels like, honestly, like Lenin area, Soviet Union, like control the flow of information type of nonsense. Like how does FDA tell adults one thing and then tell youths something completely different about the same topic? Do they think this is going to work? Well, if we don't tell kids they're less harmful, they won't know. Ha! Huh. And kids will still be scared of vaping, which is what we want. And adults won't be scared of vaping, which is what we want. It's crazy. It's kind of bananas. They did get some things right. They did get a lot right. Are e-cigarettes a lower risk alternative to cigarettes? While e-cigarettes can generally be, you see how reluctant all of this is? While e-cigarettes can generally be a lower risk alternative for adults who smoke cigarettes, the use of e-cigarettes is not risk free. Jesus fucking Christ, FDA, that's not the question. The question is, are e-cigarettes lower risk alternative to cigarettes? This paragraph could just be yes. Yep. Yep. They are. Yep. There's no need to say that e-cigarettes aren't risk-free. That's not what the question is. <laughs> the question is, are they lower risk? To which FDA should have just said yes. Yes, they are. They're not risk-free though. They're not risk-free. Who says that? Who? Oh, fuck, who says that? Oh, you're driving to the store? Be careful, you know cars aren't risk-free. We know, we know there's danger involved. They're not risk-free. Nothing's risk-free, zero. That's why we have a continuum of risk so that people can choose the really risky thing or the really less risky thing. That's the continuum of risk. You could have just said yes to this question. God, it makes me insane. What options are available for adults who smoke cigarettes and are looking to quit? Basically, FDA says, well, if you're looking to quit, you should try every other method that hasn't worked for a lot of people before you get to the most effective method ever devised by humans. Vaping is supposed to be like the last resort. They're like, try patches, try pills, try gums, try counseling, try this, try people, try bird watching. Oh, you haven't tried bird watching to quit smoking cigarettes? That's what CDC says. CDC says you just watch birds. Watch some birds. You forget all about smoking. They tell you to try Chantix first. They basically say, try every ineffective method first that we approve of. And then you can try the most popular method ever, desi ever, des ever designed by human beings. Then eventually you can get to the method that, you know, that, that, that they say is more than twice as effective as any of the other methods, but you should try the less effective methods first because that benefits us. If you try vaping, that doesn't benefit us or big pharmaceuticals. So you should try the pharma stuff first. That's what options are available. So FDA is kind of telling the truth, kind of telling the truth, 
Why is it important for adults who smoke to understand the relative risks of tobacco products? Well, fucking shit, FDA. It's only been 17 years. Glad you're finally saying something about it. Many people who use tobacco products have misperceptions about nicotine and the, and the risks of various tobacco products. Despite science shows that e-cigarettes have generally lower levels of harmful ingredients than cigarettes, many adults believe that e-cigarettes are just as harmful or more harmful than cigarettes. Many adults believe that e-cigarettes are just as harmful than, as cigarettes. Holy shit, Ma Barker, where the hell did that come from? Couldn't have possibly come from the FDA themselves who have for the last few years been telling literally everybody that there's no difference between e-cigarettes and regular cigarettes. Where, why, where did this misperception come from? FDA just can't figure it out. They're certainly not the cause of it. I need to drink beer more when I do advocacy. I like yelling. I like yelling. We don't know why so many people are misinformed. We didn't misinform them ourselves. It couldn't have been us. It couldn't have been us telling everybody for the last 10 years that there's heavy metals and toxicants inside vaping and e-cigarettes and it can cause lung damage and it can cause a volley and it can cause popcorn lung and it's highly addictive. I wonder where they got all that from. Couldn't have been us that did that exact thing. That's bananas. That's like walking up to a little kid, punching him in the face and then like, why are you so scared of me, huh? Huh? Why are you flinching? Why are you flinching? Because you did that. You caused that, FDA. What is CPT doing to educate adults who smoke about the relative risk of tobacco products? Basically nothing. They're just whispering it in this tiny little press release. The concept of relative risk is complex. The concept of relative risk is complex. What? It's not. Literally everybody understands relative risk. It's not complex. Doing the risky thing is more risky than doing the less risky thing. And doing the less risky thing is less risky than doing the risky thing. It's really very straightforward. It's only confusing and complex because of FDA. That's why it's confusing. People are confused because of FDA. Because of FDA. Okay. It is important to ensure efforts to educate adults who smoke on this topic are evidence-based and likely to achieve desired outcomes while also minimizing impact on unintended audiences, including the youth. That's a really, really interesting way of saying we care more about any youth use than any adult smoker who's going to die. That's bananas. It's not complex. It's not complex at all. Relative risk. Has that ever been complex? Has that ever been complex? Relative risk, the relative riskiness of things. No, it's never been complex. When I rode a skateboard when I was a kid, my mom said, put on a helmet. I said, why? She said, less risky. I said, okay, less risk, put on a helmet. Less risk of my brains hitting the concrete and falling out. Less risk. I understood this at 11 years old, FDA. I'm pretty sure that the big grown-ups of America can understand, our simple brains can understand relative fucking risk. Good God, FDA. Good God. FDA, World Health, they think we're just dumb as hell. They think we're just dumb as a bag of hammers. We're not. We're smart. We can understand relative risk. It's pretty easy. You just, you don't need to say that it's complex just to confuse people. Now, if I was a vapor reading this, which I am, it's pretty close. It's bare minimum. It's some good information and not a lot of good information. And if I was a cigarette smoker who was reading this, I would just assume that FDA wants me to be confused because there's no clarification here. They continuously say no tobacco product is safe. 
Okay, that's all this press release needed to be then. No tobacco product is safe. You can't say no tobacco product is safe, but fuck you. The but negates everything before it. You don't get to say no tobacco product is safe, but no. You just start the sense by saying tobacco products exist on a continuum of risk. Period. That's it. There's real risky ones. There's less risky ones. You understood this when you were 11. It's not hard to understand. It's such... Steve-O, thank you. Wrapping that up. Simple concept. Just let adults make choices based on their own understanding of the levels of risk. Period. Point. Fucking. Blank. I put on a seatbelt when I drive a car because I know it's less risky. Put on a helmet when I ride and bite my bicycle because I know it's less risky. I go the speed limit most of the time because I know it's less risky. I don't dart out in front of traffic because I know that's a lot of risk there. I don't make that quick left because I think I can make it in front of the cars. A lot of risk involved there. We all understand less risk and more risk, FDA. It's not a difficult concept. Children understand this concept, but for some reason, FDA wants to try to confuse adults about relative risk. Uh, it's, it's infuriating. It's infuriating. So that's it. That's the end of uh, the US, Canada. FDA kind of told the truth. They kind of whispered, hey, vaping is better for you than smoking but it's also really, really bad, but it's also good. You know, if you smoke, you should vape. Oh, I smoke? I should vape? Yes, you should vape. I thought you said it was, it was bad. It is. It is. It's bad for anybody else, but for you, it's good thing. Oh, it's, okay. Nothing confusing there. Okay. Nothing confusing there. Relative risk. Okay. That's ridiculous. Thank you. Let's hydrate. In fact, that's going to wrap up the U.S. Canada news and advocacy. If you're in Canada, please do the petition. If you're in the U.S., just hang on. I'm just hanging on to the side of the train right now. The train left the station and I'm just trying to hang on to it. And I believe now more than ever that things are actually turning around in the United States. That website from FDA, as bare minimum as it is, still is out there. All pink and naked for everybody to see that the FDA endorses vaping as a form of tobacco harm reduction. That's it. Period. Doesn't matter what they were exactly wrong about. Doesn't matter exactly what they were precise about, but they said vaping is harm reduction for people who smoke cigarettes. Period. That's it. I wish they would have said it louder. I wish they wouldn't have whispered it. I wish they would have said it in a less convoluted way. But, you know, it's important to maintain the status quo while also trying to change society for the better. You know, tobacco tax revenue has to come in. User fees for the FDA have to come in. Doesn't matter if people are sick. Doesn't matter if people are dying from COPD, emphysema, lung cancer, throat cancer, stroke. None of that matters because tobacco taxes need to come in. User fees need to come in. We need to maintain that status quo while also trying to save people's lives. But if we save people's lives, it ruins the status quo. So you can see how FDA gets a little stuck in the middle, right? You can see that, you know, they need to maintain the status quo, but they also want to save people's lives. But sometimes those like conflict with each other. So maintaining the status quo is always, always the most important piece. It's always the most important part. Okay. Now, let's actually hydrate for real. I'm going to end that news and advocacy for US Canada. It's 545. Let's hydrate real quick. In fact, we're going to hydrate. Is Seamus here? The wee baby? We're going to hydrate with uh, the wee baby Seamus's squid. Squid. What a beautiful dog. Let's go, squid. You and me. Let's race now. Ugh. Ugh. You won. 
Squid, you won. You win every time, Squid. You win every freaking time. Unbelievable. Uh, it's 5:45. 5:55. Okay. Let's uh let's change the let's uh change the pace a little bit. Let's change the pace a little bit. Um does anybody want to do any retro vaping? Let's do some retro vaping. Hang on. I do have to bio break real quick. I feel it coming and I want to get through this retro vaping. So let me just BRB real quick. Okay. I love you guys. Talk amongst yourself. I'll be right back. Let's retro vape. What's up, everybody? You want to do some retro vaping? Let's do some retro vaping. I'm down. Yeah, squid. Squid lives on. Squid strong. Squid is my uh, hydro hydro inspiration. Squid. That squid. He lives on. Absolutely, squid. Hydro homie for life. Now, now, what I want to do is retro vape. We got a retro vape. Okay, so. Swift Cycling sent us a retro vape to vape that I really want to retro vape because I really remember really very enjoying this. Whoops, my beer my beer cups in the way. I'll put you over here then, sir. Geek Vape Griffin 25. Griffin 25. It's got bottom airflow and top airflow. Bottom airflow and top airflow hella oh the hella chats i'm sorry you know what you're right i'm sorry i'm sorry let's we'll get we'll get the, we'll get with the the hella chats here uh just one second let me load this uh web zone up here apologize man i even had hella chats written down that's okay you know what we're going to do? We're going to read the hella chats. Uh, Daniel B, subscribing. Thank you so much. That's awesome, Twitch gang. Uh, Earn, donating the super chat of the beast. He says, oh, yeah, it's my five-year vape anniversary this week. Uh, just want to say hi. Grim Army Strong. Hell, yeah, Grim Army Strong. Also, five years. Earn, five years. Congratulations. I'm going to write that down, even though, you know, I just wrote down earn five. I feel like that's important. Five year vape anniversary. Congratulations. I knew you could do it. I knew you could do it. I knew you could earn. I believe in you. Hell yeah. Well done. And then raw truck. We got raw truck. Despite what I say when you're not around, <laughs> you're pretty awesome. Raw truck. I appreciate you. You joker. You're, you're a funny guy. Aren't you funny guy? Raw truck. Appreciate you. Raw truck. He also says, uh, Yep, 
FDA is being confusing on purpose. They know how to communicate better, but they need smokers to keep smoking. I mean, raw chuck, that's the nail on the head, right? That's the nail on the head. Of course they know how to communicate more effectively. Of course they do. Of course CDC knows how to communicate much more effectively. But when things like Evoli come around and they want people confused as to what's causing this, what's causing Evoli? Is it weed carts? Is it nicotine vaping? Nobody knows. It's confusing. And then we get targeted messaging about vaping and lung injuries and you're like what wait what are the what's what's vaping what's causing the lung injuries and they're like nobody knows but you shouldn't vape nobody should vape ha ah, it's confusing and weird and ambiguous on purpose there's still people to this day like dude there's doctors doctors that talk about evoli and vaping and e-cigarettes that nicotine vaping caused evoli that's insane insanity that's insanity they're so wrong they're so insanely wrong whoa that was a bad pour that was all foam i was trying to be slick well, we'll wait that to wait for that to die down just a little bit while we get into our actual retro vaping. Okay, here we go. I'm going to build this. I'm going to put on some lo-fi chilled beats in the background that I hope uh, you enjoy because I don't like silence when I'm building. But this is where we're at. We're at the Griffin 25. I actually don't even know if this is actually truly like 25 millimeters or not. Top airflow with travel to the coil structure. Available for single or dual coil use. 6 mil juice capacity. 17 millimeter build deck. Clicking clock positions airflow control. Clicking clock positions airflow control. That, what fascinating marketing that is. What fascinating marketing that is. Here we go. I don't know. We're going to go in for the Griffin 25. And I have, oh, there's no drip tip. I have a uh, device set aside. Can we put this one on it? Oh, it's, what is that? 810? That's not 510? Oh, no. It might have no drip tip. Oh, no. Oh, it's 810. Okay, it's 810. Okay, sick. So it's not too bad. It's 810. I didn't know. I thought it was like a proprietary drip tip, but it is not. The Griffin 25, I want to say this came out in 2016. So that makes this what? Eight, seven years old? Eight years old? Eight years old? It seems like this just came out. Didn't I just review the Griffin 25? <laughs> I legitimately feel like I just reviewed this. A little bit restricted, even with full open top and bottom. All right, well, um, I got an era appropriate device as well to put this on. Oh, God. Spam risk. Spam risk. Don't worry. It's just a spam risk. We are going to put a dirty 18650 in here. Oh, no. It's what? Is this really 21? Okay. Maybe this isn't era appropriate. All right. Dang. Well, it's the Loch Ness. It's the Loch Ness. I used to love this device. This was like my... My favorite device back in the day. <laughs> J Money Land Shark. Get out of here. That's when you graduated high school. So you you're telling me you were part of the youth vaping epidemic? Oh shit, look at that. Okay. So it does come with the ability to do a single coil. Should we throw a single in here? A single with six? 
a single coil. I've never run the Griffin 25 as a single coil, but I think I might. Hang on. I don't know what's wrong with my... Uh... There we go. That's better. That's better. Single coil, single or dual, single or dual, single or dual. I think I'm going to go single. I haven't done, I've never done a single coil in this. I've never even seen this like, look at this, ceramic at the top, I think. Yeah, that's ceramic right there. And then there's a rubber plug that fills in, okay, just breaks apparently. All right, I guess I have to leave this on here. Jesus. Okay. Okay, maybe not. Maybe we have to do a dual coil. Yep. Well, I mean... Shit! <laughs> now this can't... I, I ruined it. It, just, it got destroyed. It just destroyed. I just pulled... I shouldn't have fucked with it. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Why did I do that? That was dumb. Now we have to build a dual coil in here. That was dumb. That was dumb to do. I wanted to put a single in here. I think I still can because it comes with a replacement rubber guy. It comes with a little replacement rubber guy, but I don't know if I can get these little... Oh my good lord. Those are really stuck in there. Well, I mean, you know, it's an old RTA. I'm sure it's been sitting around for a while, you know. I think this has been sitting around. I cannot get those out of there. Holy shit. Okay, maybe not. Maybe we cannot vape the Griffin 25. I cannot get these rubber silicone parts out of here. Oh, oh. Fuck. Ooh, maybe I can pull it out this way. Hey, there it goes. There it goes. Let's pull it out the hard way. Well, damn it. I was kind of looking forward to a single coil in there. I was kind of looking forward to a single coil so I don't have to do a dual coil, but here we are. All righty then. Okay, let's try. Let's try. See if we can get a single coil thing in here. Okay, let's put the ring back on. There's a little ring right there for the wicks. Genius little invention. Threaded ring. Everybody loves a threaded ring. Nope. I don't know why Geek Vape thought this was a great idea. These little flimsy little silicone plug holders, they don't go in, they don't come out, they don't really do anything. Maybe I can put it in here like this. There we go. Okay. I should have just taken the ring off. Were you guys yelling that at the, at the screen? I'm pretty sure you guys were yelling that at the screen and I just didn't notice. So I'm sorry. I'm sure that's what happened, but I think that's what happened. Hang on. This little ring is going to be the end of me. Vaping. <laughs> Vaping's so cool. It's so funny. It's like <sighs> the things we go through for a setup are ridiculous especially with like modern shit like billet boxes and stuff it's like oh you want to vape well it's gonna be a struggle <laughs> i hope you enjoy fiddling all right now we can get a single coil okay now we're back to single coil mode 
Now we're back to single coil mode. So I'm gonna pop this off, get a single coil in there. I might use a twisted Timmy. Hang on. Hang on, I might have a, 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 a drip theory here. I think a three millimeter coil will fit in there. It's gonna be close, man. Three millimeter coil is going to be close. I It's a 17 millimeter deck. I don't think I can fit a three millimeter in here. Ah, I could, I could, I could, for sure. Ah, is that too big? You tell me, I think that's too big. I feel like that's too big with a three millimeter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna look for a two and a half millimeter. Sorry, drip theory. I love your coils, my dude. But I know I have some. Let's try this. Top flights. So the top flights are too small. Yeah, that's fine. They're for Boro. I should have known that. I just need some two and a half millimeter. I don't know why I do this like, every single time. Every single time. I thought I had coils set aside, but I didn't. Two and a half millimeter. Okay, this might fit in there. I'm gonna add a wrap to this, but I think this will fit in here. You're three millimeters still? Are you serious? Oh my God in heaven. It says two, oh no, it says three millimeter. Okay, yeah, you're right, you're right. I love that I can never find the coils that I want when I want them. I, I sit here like not on stream, just cleaning my office and I'm like, oh look, there's the two and a half millimeter coils I wanted. There's the three millimeter coils I wanted. Oh look, there's the Fralians I wanted. Oh look, there's the aliens I wanted. And then for some reason, when I hit stream, it's like, nope, everything shuffles around. The place that you thought the aliens were, they're not there anymore. They're not there anymore. Fucking three millimeter. Three millimeter, three millimeter, three millimeter, three millimeter, three millimeter. See, this is a Mac Boro fused, but it's only There's no, like, no, nope, there's no way that's fitting in there. I'm insane. I feel like I can't get any middle ground. It's like, you, you it's like a two, min, two and a half millimeter for Boro, for a mech Boro, or three millimeter. I can't find a two and a half millimeter cloud chaser, but we're gonna try this. Cause I think this will work. I know. Really, I should just stop complaining and make my own fucking coils. I should just stop complaining and make my own damn coils. Okay.
Okay. That's success. Look at that. You know what one of my favorite thing is? Is when people who have really loud cars and really loud motorcycles gun it up my street. It's like I want to run out into the street and just be like, yeah! Woo! Way to, yeah, dude! Woo! How big is your dick? That's what I want to shout. I am assuming that's what they think people are doing every time they gun it up the street. I'm assuming they think that people are just cheering out their windows at them. Boom. I think this is going to be perfect. Perfect little single coil in there. Hell yeah, single coil Griffin 25. Yeah, time to break out under <laughs> time to break out that 24 gauge round wire. That's not above me. I have broken out round wire many, many times. Many, many times when I've been annoyed really drip theory 9.9 .9 out of seven that's unbelievable that's better than the curve it's better than the curve <laughs> this is america because this is america <laughs> it's good to see you j money land shark it's good to see you man clip dicky mo dicky mo Dicky Mo. So now we can put this ceramic back on here and run it as a single coil, which I've never done. So I'm excited about it. Single coil Griffin 25. Who saw this coming? All right, let's try to get this. Does that positioning look okay? Right above the airflow? I think it looks pretty okay. Beautiful, Clark. Beautiful. Would you just look at that? It's a sight to behold. Glowing perfectly evenly from the inside to the outside. That's exactly what you want to see. I'm going to get some cotton. I'm going to pull off a lot of cotton because we're going to waste cotton tonight. I didn't see phrasing in the chat, so. I'm just kidding, phrasing. If you're watching the replay, I'm not going to waste a bunch of cotton. Unless I am. Oh, hey now, feel pretty good about that. Feel pretty good about that. We're gonna have to do some uh, sweeping. I don't know exactly how we're gonna get these cottons into their little holes. Okay, I think we're good there. Thinning, I never thinned. I never thinned back in the day, especially in 2016, I didn't thin. If you thinned your cotton until 2016, you were an innovator. You were ahead of the curve. Way ahead of the curve. I think I still, Demented Design, I think I still have my original Griffin 25. I just don't know, like, I couldn't tell you where it is. We're going to try to... Uh, here, we're going to try to... That's too much cotton, man. I mean... That's an unforgivable amount of cotton. That's insane. So yeah, I'm definitely going to need to thin these in like a severe way. I'm just gonna haphazardly sort of thin these out because that was insane. I 
Undertickle? That was a shit. That's too much cotton. And I would say I could take off that little ring, but I don't think that's going to help at all. I'm just going to try to get it in there. That's what she said. We're just going to try to put it in there. That's what she said. You can give your cotton a comb over. I give my cotton a comb over. I give my head a comb over. Yeah, you got it. Look, cool tech. You got to give it the under under. Okay. I'm going to try to. I mean, seriously, this is difficult. Ugh. No, let's start over, let's start over. Fuck, this is difficult. This is really difficult. Single coil mode. I feel like I just cannot get this cotton in here. Holy shit. This is this is a, this is truly truly an old school design in a severe old school design way. It's like ah, your your shit doesn't need to wick. What? You can't make you can't make your cotton go 90 degrees down into a little catch cup? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean you can't do that? Into the world's tiniest little catch cup? You can't make your cotton go 90 degrees into the world's tiniest little catch cup? What are you talking about? What do you mean? It's so narrow, I can't even get my tweezers in there. This is not good wicking. Straight up bad. I'm gonna say I'm gonna go ahead and say this is bad wicking Those juice flow holes are clogged with cotton. This is this is gonna suck. It's gonna fucking suck Look at that Garbage that's garbage wicking those holes are so tiny tiny It's that they're the tiniest little holes Trying to get them like through the. Wow. Really bad. I mean, that's that's nightmarish in nature. That's gonna that's bad. That's bad. I need to take the ring off. Here's the problem with that. Literally everything. <laughs> Literally everything, dude. That back plate, that, that back plug is not going to stay on. I don't, and I genuinely, maybe it would, maybe it would be easier to take the, the ring off, but I feel like that's going to be more difficult. I would rather tuck the wicks under the ring than tuck the wicks down and then try to put the ring on afterwards. Sick boy, it looks good to you. Captain Dobbs, I'm reading the chat. I'm reading the chat as best I can. I saw you recommend taking the ring off a few times. That's... I'm going to shut up. All right. So, since this is uh, a single coil, we might as go might as well go with some um, six milligram. Nope. Actually, we're just gonna go with three. We're gonna do some oat drips banana. Come on now. We're just crossing our fingers that this is gonna wick correctly. You know, 
I, I know, Captain Dobbs. Plug it afterwards. We, we are. I already struggled with that. I already struggled because this RDA is RTA is so old and was you know not well thought out and came out at the beginning of vaping. The fit and finish is bullshit. The fit and finish is fucking terrible. That little rubber ring in there, that little silicone guy, like I destroyed it trying to take it out. Literally murdered it. Just destroyed the shit out of it trying to get it out. Luckily, there was a spare that I jammed in there. Luckily, there was a spare. Oh, that's not going to wick for shit. You can already tell. You can already tell. You can already tell, man. I wasn't like super expecting this to vape like amazing, but I thought it would be a little bit easier to wick. Like I remember giving the Griffin 25 like a pretty okay review. Coil turd, did you ever try the Griffin 25? I remember giving this like a pretty good review. What's up Beecher? I see you buddy. Okay, so. So there's juice flow control, open it up, close it off. Super unnecessary, at least for our purposes, because I wicked it so tightly. But this is a threaded top cap. You, you wanna know that an RTA is old school? Threaded top cap. That's the most old school shit of all time. And there's airflow in the top cap that pokes in like on the inside there, you can kind of see it. Kind of see it. I'm sure that'll be fine. <laughs> Two hours later. Let's get this Griffin filled up, damn it. Bleh. Okay? Bleh. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep bleeing. We're going to keep... Fucking... Paul Cole. What's up, Canada? Fucking flavor ban is coming to Canada. That's what's up with Canada. Okay. Then we open up the juice flow. Let the bubbles flow. Let the spice flow. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Griffin 25. On top of a Loch Ness. That's a throwbacky vape. Single coil. Okay, here's the thing. There's been a lot of beer flowing, so I need to take a bio break, so I'll be right back. I'll come right back. I promise I'll be right back. Wait, 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 wait. Already vaped it dry. Already vaped it dry. Took three toots. Took three toots in the bathroom. Already dry. Damn. 
Already dry. The wicking, not holding up, not keeping up. That was a bad wicking idea, Nick. Bad. Listen, the flavor honestly isn't terrible. It's like 2016 era flavor, you know, when flavor was okay in an RTA, like just okay in an RTA, but awesome in RDAs. The flavor on this, it's a little bit disappointing. If this was a, uh, if I was vaping this like back in the day in actually 2016 and I had it next to an RDA, it's not even a, it's not even a contest. RDA flavors, worlds better, worlds better. I love the Loch Ness. I love the Loch Ness, KY. Th this, the Loch Ness. I think this is the baby Ness. Is this the baby Ness? Oh, I love it. It's so ergonomic, so comfortable. Fire buttons right here. Love this device. Love it. Close the top airflow. Jig Scrapwood, good call. Close the top airflow. Yeah. Wow, the flavor got way better. Way better. Lost methods. Lost methods with the pro tip of don't let the cotton go below that ring and taper the cotton. I vaped that tank for years. Just got to learn how to build it. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate the pro tip. It's hard on a stream to get everything correctly, but I think I did pretty okay. The wicking's not exactly keeping up, but the flavor is still, I would call it okay. It's pretty okay flavor. Yeah. What was that? <laughs> mid, mid. It's mid. I'm 47 years old. I got no business saying mid, but it's mid. It's mid as shit. It's pretty mid flavor. That's the banana oat drips. And it tastes like the banana oat drips, but it's not like the banana oat drips. You know what I mean? really just trying to get some bubbles to happen in here. I can get no bubbles happening. Whoops. Sorry about that. Just dang black. It's no big deal. No signal. Here it is. I can't get any bubbles to happen. Hang on. Just cannot get any bubbles to happen. The liquid level looks like it's going down a little bit though. So that leads me to believe that it that it's wicking or that it's it's actually moving. Oh, wait, I didn't even have it on the wick side. That was the plastic side. Let's try the wick side. Let me do a big pull. No bubbles. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. No bubbles. That's how you know that I may have wicked this RTA completely incorrectly with there's if there's no bubbles happening. Flavor is pretty okay still, though. I kind of want to turn this wattage up, but I'm worried about dry hits. So let's go to 43 watts. It's a 0.23 at 33 watts. Very slightly going dry. It's very slightly going dry, unfortunately. But here's the thing. I never built a Griffin in, in a single coil before that's interesting that silicone little plug thing not great not great i ruined the first one right out of the gate i just try to think with everything i review literally everything i review i i look at it from the standpoint of if i spent money on this would i be dissatisfied in any way if I had spent money in 2024 on the Griffin 25, I maybe I'll be dissatisfied. 
maybe not in 2016. You see a bubble, 60 watt guy? You don't see a bubble. Hang on. You're lying. You don't see a bubble. You don't see a bubble anywhere. I don't see a bubble. See, that felt like the next hit is going to be the dry hit. That hit was saturated, but at the very end, it felt like it was about to go dry. But... <laughs> Bubbles are a myth perpetrated by the RBA, and that's right. It's a myth. Bubbles are a myth. Bubbles don't help your vaping. Bubbles, yeah, maybe the dual coil would have been better. Maybe the dual coil, and I would have taken the ring off and put the ring back on, it might have been a lot better. Flavor, here's what I'll say about the flavor. It's fine. It's pretty okay. It's not great. It's not RDA. It's not even Oxva Abita flavor. Oxva Abita has some flavor. This, look, it's tall. It's only a single coil. It's not going to have crazy flavor, but it's going to have, pardon me, okay flavor. Yeah, Demented Designs, look, I very agree with this. I so very agree with this. Trial and error, at least if you're like an old school rebuildable guy, trial and error is just part of it. Trial and error is part of it. It's like, oh, I didn't wick it right. Next time I'll wick it better. Oh, I didn't build it right. Next time I'll build it better. Oh, play, you know, next time I'll do it better. Next time I'll do it better. Josh, yes, you're correct. This is facts. <laughs> This is facts. This is facts. Scott, this is also facts. That's true. Bubbles are youth appealing. Swazzy, is this true? Is that true that he invented bubbles? Damn, I didn't even know. Dual coil would have definitely been better. Yeah, I agree, Tom. I agree. But listen, single coil's not too bad. Do did did you think I... Did, I'm trying to learn Sadukar. I'm trying to learn the language of Sadukar. It's weird at first. All I know how to say is keep on vaping, which goes... Um, <laughs> kind of like that. I think that's how I say keep on vaping. <laughs> that's keep on vaping in Sadukar. <laughs> Crazy. I can do you one better than that, Mr. Proud Canadian. Let's put you on blast. Proud Canadian. Proud Canadian. Proud Canadian. What's up, Proud Canadian? What do you have to say to us tonight? There's a lot of uh, beer flowing tonight. Okay, so the Griffin 25. Listen. It's like one of those classic vapes. You know, you can't help but love it. I have such fond memories of the Griffin 25 that I'm completely ignoring like how this went tonight. I'm ignoring that it was a little bit wonky to wick. I'm ignoring that it was a single coil with the with the rubber in there that just snapped off in half when I tried to pull it out. I'm ignoring a lot of things because I'm looking at this through a little bit of rose-colored glasses and I'm just going to assume, yeah, it vapes great. This is great. And I liked back in the day when RDAs and RTAs would do the single coil, dual coil thing where you could put a little rubber grommet or a little rubber gra gasket in there, close off the juice flow, close off the coil, and then you had a little single coil banger. I think that's kind of cool. I think that's kind of cool. Going dry. All right, Griffin25. Well... You're going dry, and that's okay. It is freaking 640. Damn. We still got some stuff to crank through, you guys. I hope you're in, in for a... 
in for a long one. There it is. Me too. Me too, proud Canadian. I'm pissed with my government. I'm pissed. I, I don't stop being pissed. That's the fucking problem, man. There's there's this something happened. Like, I'm convinced this this goes back to the lockdowns. The lockdowns were like the worst fucking idea. I'm sorry for being so obscenity filled tonight. It's the golden drock that does it, you see. It's the golden drock. We might as well drink this whole beer. It's already basically done. I'm pissed off at a lot of things. I'm pissed off at the government. I feel perpetually tired. I feel perpetually run down. I feel I feel like a level of tired that I don't think sleep could even help. I don't think I could sleep for 12 hours and relieve this level of like tired, exhausted that I feel constantly, constantly all the time. It just happens. If you're feeling this, you're not alone. There's a lot of us that are feeling really, really burnt out just after just 2020 happened. And then it's like time stopped. That's how I feel. I feel like 2020 happened, the lockdowns happened, terrible idea, and now I just feel trapped in this weird reality that doesn't make any sense. Years pass by, and it's like, how many years have passed by? I don't even know. It's 2024 right now. That's crazy. That is bananas. Anyway, so real quickly, before we get to mail, before we get to mail, I, before, yeah, here we go. That's it, Steve. That's it. I don't drink. I don't normally consume a lot of alcohol, but this beer is 10%. This beer is 10%. And it's like, you know, and here's the realization that I kind of came to is I don't think the world as a whole is any less crazy or chaotic or insane than it was in years past. But I think now in the modern digital time, we have access to it 24 seven. Like we can see the crazy 24 seven now, whereas before we couldn't really. So we kind of like lived in this little like fantasy land of like, oh, I'm gonna eat this steak and I know it tastes good. The matrix is gonna tell my brain that it tastes good because we didn't know, like we weren't aware. It wasn't in our faces. 24 seven of just news, 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 news in your face, 24 seven. And what's happened even more so in the digital time now in 2024, where people just exist on the internet, like I exist right now on the internet is that people, not grim green, but people are willing to do and say literally anything to get clicks. We talked about the FDA tonight. The FDA told some pretty good truths tonight. This is not a clickbait title. I do not clickbait people. I do not rage bait people. This YouTube is, 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 mo is, 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 is like mission focused. I don't like to clickbait people. I don't like to rage bait people, but unfortunately multitudes of other people on the internet make lots of money by making you mad. They make lots of money by making you divisive. They make lots of money by rage baiting you into watching videos and reading articles. They make money every time you're mad. And that is awful, I think, for society. And maybe this is just the booze drinking, the booze talking, but I mean, it's not a sustainable model to constantly be rage baiting people, to constantly be click baiting people, to constantly say things like, I'm leaving vaping. And then you don't because you're a puss, but you doesn't cap you from making the video that says, I'm leaving vaping. I'm done with this. Here's some clickbait. Please desperately watch my YouTube because clickbait, people are willing to do anything. So just know. Please know that everybody, including me, is vying for your attention. I would like your, I would like you here at the vlog. Of course I would. Of course I would. Everybody wants your attention. It's the last like, like frontier that people can colonize is your attention. 
and what you give your attention to matters and people are constantly trying to get your attention with with rage with anger with clickbait people will do anything to get your views people dude a dude crashed a plane a dude rented a private plane and jumped out of it with a parachute and let it crash into the mountain in california literally just for views people will put their kids on youtube and make them sing and dance and make them uncomfortable literally for views it's the grossest shit of all time like the modern internet of click baiting you and rage baiting you it's not good for society it's not good for anybody to be mad all the time you can't think that people are against you all the time it's not healthy so with that said i don't know where this rant is going so The beer is a 10%, you know, when, when, when Grim Green has a beer that's 10%, things just get rambly, things just get ranty. And I guess in closing, I just want to say, please be skeptical of everything you see, read, hear, and watch on the internet. <laughs> please. People want your attention and they're willing to do literally anything to get that click. They want to do anything to get that click. I personally, I don't know. I'd like to get your attention. Like I'd like to make a thumbnail and a title that's like, ooh, I'm actually interested in that, you know? Beecher, you're right. Here's the thing. In Indonesia, it's gonna be lit, fam. We're gonna get annihilated, Beecher. We're gonna get alcohol poisoning. Cheers to ya. Okay, okay, and now the lo-fi chilled beats are still playing while I'm ranting. That's not fun. Oh, we're going to do a little bit of ranting again because I'm sorry. F the FDA. 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 News, yeah. Clucking the childs. Here we are. I want to talk about uh, the UK and Australia real quick. I really want to talk about the UK and Australia real quick because I have never been more concerned about the, the United Kingdom than I am literally right now. This is a good little window into what's going on in the UK. This guy, Chris Witty hates vaping hates nicotine users hates smokers hates them just hates them into the ground now hang on look at this guy let's look at <laughs> i don't know why i want to make fun of this guy so bad i just named this picture the fun police because look at him doesn't that just look like the fun police he wants to rip everything joyful away from you, including what little joy that nicotine might bring you in your life. Nope. This guy, all against it. All against it. He's singing the praises of the smoke-free generation. Singing the praises of this, you know, anti-vaping, anti-smoking, anti-human, anti-everything bill. And he says ridiculous things like, well, the smoke-free generation is going to be a success, but it will take decades to fully come into effect. We might not know if this is a success for 30 years. 30 years? Like, dude, my dude, we could be saving lives literally right now. We could get people to stop smoking cigarettes literally right now. But you have this new legislation in the UK that everybody is seemingly really excited about that's a generational smoking ban, which means if you're uh, 15 years old right now, if you're 15 or 16 years old right now, you will never be able to buy cigarettes legally. You will never be able to buy a vape, buy a vape legally. 
He looks happy to take away your fun, doesn't he, Andy? He looks happy to take away your fun. Doesn't he just embody the fucking fun police? Hmm. Not on my watch. And the UK has done this really interesting thing. And it's, and it's in this article, which I'm going to post in the description. I'm going to post this in the description for sure. But they've pivoted. They've pivoted from the idea that smoking harms people, that smoking tobacco cigarettes harms every organ in your body literally every organ in your body from your heart to your kidneys to your liver to your skin to your hair every major organ in your body is harmed by smoking cigarettes and they've pivoted from wanting to rid the world of smoking related death and disease to ridding the world of addiction they say things he says things where the hell did he go Let's get you fun police back up here. He says things like addiction has no place in our society. We want a so we want a society free of addiction, free of all addictions. No more addicting to alcohol, no more addicted to sugary sweets, no more addicted to fast food, no more addicted to social media, no more addicted to TV, no more addicted to news, no more addicted to nicotine, no more addictions to anything. The UK is trying to create this utopian society where nobody's addicted to anything. And in order to do that, they're going to go after vaping. And I don't mean this in like a tongue in cheek kind of, well, they're really going to go after vaping. No, they're really going after vaping. Here we go from clearing the air. We're unsure how many vapors will return to smoking after disposable ban. Yeah, we're, we don't know. We're just, we just don't care. We kind of just don't care. They put a lot of, you know, things in here. 1.2 million people who currently smoke would be benefited from switching to e-cigarettes. The UK is okay with those people not switching. They're okay with some people just dying, just dying, just smoke. I don't care. Just smoke. We don't know how many people are going to go back to smoking. Could be, could be thousands, could be tens of thousands, could be hundreds of thousands. None of that really matters because what they did was ban disposables. And that's what's important. You know, you got to prevent any possible youth experimentation at the cost of adult lives. And that's a perfectly rational and reasonable position to take. We don't know how many vapors will return to smoking after the government, after we ban disposables. That's not our concern. Our concern is any youth use and, of course, the red herring that is the environment. Had so many vapors that were environmentalists, didn't even know about it. Yeah, fuck disposables. They're bad for the environment. Uh, people who use them should just continue to smoke and fucking die. Here's my stance. Defend all the vapes. The fact that the, that the government of the UK is like, well, we're going to ban vapes. Yep, we're going to ban disposables. And then someone asks... How many people who rely on disposables are going to return to smoking? And the UK basically said, we don't know. We don't care. We don't know. We don't care. There you go, UK. Right on. Well done. I, he definitely has halitosis. What, Mr. Fun Police? Yeah. Mr. Fun Police definitely has halitosis. He looks like he would get mad at you for, like, skateboarding, too, you know? Like... He's the guy that would call the cops because your skateboard is too loud. <laughs> He's the guy. He's the guy. He's that guy. Who cares? So they, they estimate that up to 700,000 people are at risk of relapsing back into cigarettes. And this bothers the UK government fucking zero. They look at that number and they go, 700,000? That's fine. That's okay. Listen, if 700,000 people need to relapse into cigarettes and die 
to protect a few kids from experimenting with safe nicotine, that's the price we're willing to pay. That's the price that the UK is willing to pay in order to tax and ban vaping out of existence. You don't think it's happening, but it definitely, definitely, definitely is because the Royal College of Physicians decided that the cigarette trade should not face so much competition from much safer alternatives and wants to help out by making vapes more expensive, less appealing, and harder to access with no innovation. Yep, the fucking Royal College of Physicians who still maintain that vaping is 95% less harmful than smoking to combustible tobacco cigarettes recommend that we should raise the vapes on prices. We should raise the price on vaping, raising their price by introducing an excise tax. That'll get people to quit. What do you mean? Wait, what do you mean taxing vaping as hard as cigarettes won't get people to quit? That's crazy. The Royal College of Physicians says we should increase their price while banning multi-buy purchases. The Royal College of Physicians has lost the plot. The Royal College of Physicians has been infected by Mike Bloomberg's greasy fucking tentacles. And the Royal College of Physicians is still saying that vaping's 95% healthier for you. And they're still saying that if you're a smoker, you should quit and switch to vaping as soon as possible. But they're also saying that we should definitely raise the price on vaping. Oh, oh, oh okay. We should raise the price on vaping, but it's delicate because we need to make sure that it's too expensive for youths, but not too expensive for smokers, which again means that they're willing to sacrifice adult lives in order to protect any youth from experiencing, from experimenting with any nicotine at all. They call for bans on promotion, including social media. They prefer bans on purchasing and they want products to be less appealing to young people by introducing standardized packaging and flavor descriptors require manufacturers to limit the production of toxic substances from vapes. What, what toxic substances from the vapes, which ones, which, which, which toxic substances, because as it stands right now, Nicotine is the most toxic substance in vapes. So that means that we should lower the nicotine levels so that kids aren't attracted to them and so they become completely useless for adult smokers? What? What? The Royal College of Physicians is just wrong about this. The Royal College of Physicians is maintaining the status quo now. The UK government's giving away free vapes to anybody that smokes. Think about how confusing it is in the US and think about how confusing it is in the UK. The UK just went full confusion level because the government is telling people to quit smoking with vaping, but the government is also gonna tax vaping harder than smoking and they're going to ban promoting and they're going to clamp down on purchasing and they're going to limit flavors and they're going to limit nicotine flavors, but they still want smokers to try it. They still want smokers to try it. It's like the US FDA asking smokers, well, try the gum and the patches and everything that doesn't work before you try vaping. This is the exact same thing. This is, well, I know vaping helped you quit smoking, but we're going to make it more expensive now. Sorry, we're going to make it less flavors. Sorry, it's going to be not be able to be marketed. Sorry, and it's going to be more expensive than it's ever been before. Sorry, but we still want you to do it because it's better than smoking, but we're just going to tax it as much as smoking because damn tax revenue. It's the damn tax revenue. Cowards. Paul Cole, fucking cowards. It's crazy to me that so many people 
recognize the health benefits of switching to harm reduction products, but refuse to shout it from the rooftops because we need to maintain the status quo, you see, states we rely on that tobacco tax money. So if too many people quit smoking, where's all our money going to go for plugging holes in the budget and building golf courses? Like shit, man, we need that tobacco tax money. If people quit, keep, keep, keep quitting smoking, there's going to be less cancer. There's going to be less death. There's going to be less disease. There's going to be less need for cancer societies. Yeah, I know. Could you imagine if lung cancer was eliminated, what the American Cancer Society would do? They'd probably start injecting people with cancer to remain relevant. So that's what's happening in the UK. That's what's happening in the UK. They don't give a shit. They have turned around. They're all about it. Lindsey Stroud these are some tweets from the uh, second reading of the flavor ban and taxes, and they just bring up weird stuff, you know? They just bring up weird stuff and dumb stuff and stuff that isn't relevant to, you know, vaping and harm reduction. It's out of control. And, and I have to pee. up i broke the seal you know i broke the seal that's what happens <laughs> broke the seal that's what happens okay we're still doing news that's fine uk let's look at this are you ready for this this is uh this is what makes me worried this is what makes me worried for the united kingdom because the department of health and social care government uk this is the government UK website. This is the government UK's Twitter X account. Here's the evidence of why we're taking action to protect future generation from the harms of smoking and clamping down on youth vaping. UK. UK says that heated tobacco is safe and effective as a smoking cessation tool. That's a myth. The UK is saying that harm reduction is a myth that sounds to me like nobody else than mike mini mike effin bloomberg getting his greasy tentacles like i've been talking about for fucking years into the uk it's happening we're watching it happen that's a myth the evidence is that laboratories show clear evidence of toxicity from heated tobacco products unlike vapes there is no evidence that they are effective for helping people quit smoking except there's a community note and one of the links in the community note is from the uk government it's from the uk government the uk government is contradicting themselves that's bananas to me the American Cancer Society says heated tobacco products likely reduce cigarette sales in Japan. The FDA says heated tobacco products are far safer than cigarettes. The UK Committee on Toxicity heat not burn products contain 90% fewer harmful and potential harmfully compounds compared to smoking. This is from the UK government. 
And then we have the UK government saying that what they said earlier was a myth. I give up. I fucking like the UK. I can't handle it anymore. I cannot handle it anymore. How does the UK pivot that hard from death and disease from smoking to, well, just any general addiction now is the scourge of society. It doesn't matter that 8 million people are going to die this year from smoking related diseases across the world. Now, just the simple act of being addicted to something that has no place in our society. And then they go and they lie on the internet, the Department of Health and Social Care for the United Kingdom says that heat not burn products are a myth when their own research shows that it's not. I have never been more worried about the UK than I am right now. Yeah, Sunak is desperate. And the problem is MPs are on board. They're on board. I never liked that vaping. It needs to be regulated. It needs to be banned. It needs to have flavors limited. It needs to be in different packaging. It needs to be taxed just as much as cigarettes. The UK were once like the beacon of harm reduction. The beacon of harm reduction. As soon as vaping existed, they noticed their smoking rates going down. They're like, this is a good thing. Let's encourage people to vape. Let's do some science. Look at that. Turns out it's really less harmful. Let's encourage our citizens to vape. All it took was Mike Bloomberg, and I'm assuming some money, to make the UK completely pivot to now we're mad at addiction. Addiction has no place in a civilized society. Addiction. That's the bad part. Nicotine is the bad part. Does nicotine cause uh, cancer? No. Okay. Does nicotine cause emphysema? No. Okay. Does nicotine cause lung disease? No. Okay. Does nicotine cause COPD? No. Oh, okay. What, does nicotine cause aneurysms? Uh, anything? No. Okay. But addiction is the problem and not the disease from smoking the product that harms every organ in your body. Not that. Just the addiction part. I am worried, legitimately worried about the United Kingdom right now in a really very, like, obscenely severe way. Okay. I don't have anything else for news and advocacy. Okay, I got one more thing. Let's talk about this. Effective anti-smoking policies. So we can go to antismoking.global slash rankings. And this is a third party NGO organization that ranks countries on their effectiveness of their, of their stop smoking policies. It's not whether, you know, measuring like smokers to vapors. It's not measuring things. It's only measuring the effectiveness of their anti-smoking policies, the effectiveness of their anti-smoking policies. And there are certain metrics, right? Like if we go to uh, flavors, all flavors are allowed. They get 100%, they get 100 points. If flavors are limited, they get 75 points. If only tobacco, mint, and menthol are allowed, they get 50 points. And if only tobacco flavors and no flavors are allowed, the country gets zero points. This is great. This is great. Let's see. Number five, the Czech Republic's in the number five. Shift from lack of regulation to more structured policies, improving accessibility and information to vape and heated tobacco products. Czech Republic clocking in at number five. Number four, Ireland. Who knew? Uh, the upcoming public health bill uh, includes restrictions on vape flavors, packaging, and taxation. So Ireland might drop from number four. But number three is Slovakia. Significant regulatory overhaul towards more open policies for vape, heated tobacco, and nicotine pouches recognizes their potential for harm reduction. Slovakia, number four. Number two, Sweden. We'll always have Sweden, you guys. Consolidated number two position with progressive liberalization of non-combustible nicotine products. Recognize a variety of flavors and nicotine levels contribute to acceptability of safer alternatives. 
Sweden, still in the number one position, despite the upcoming flavor ban and taxes, is the UK. Maintains global leadership with a progressive stance on innovative nicotine products, improved regulation for heated, and recognition of nicotine pouches as harm reduction tools. I don't think that's true because pouches are still not legal in the UK. Not, still not legal in the UK. Yeah, look, you know, domestic Bert, you make a good point. People could be addicted to money. Maybe in the UK, no more money. Look, addiction has no place in a society. Addiction has no place in a civilized society. I don't care what you're addicted to. Even if you're addicted to like bettering yourself, even if you're addicted to like going to the gym and eating right, those kinds of addictions especially have no place in a modern society. If you're addicted to McDonald's, if you're addicted to fast food, you're addicted to sugar, you're addicted to caffeine, you're addicted to nicotine, you're addicted to anything. You're addicted to working out, you're addicted to being nice, you're addicted to driving well. Sorry, addiction has no place <laughs> in a civilized society. But is the UK going to stay number one for a while? We don't know. So we're going to look they let you look at vaping, heated tobacco products, snooze, nicotine pouches. We're going to look at global. We're going to look at the global rankings. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Down to the Czech Republic. Switzerland is number six. We're going to go through Lebanon, Greece. The U.S. is at number nine. We're in the top ten, baby. Jeremy M., number nine. USA. <laughs> USA. 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 We're number nine. Don't forget it. Number nine for life. Does anybody else need a freaking vape break? Spain's number 10. New Zealand, Romania, Italy, France, Canada, number 15. Germany, number 16. Saudi Arabia, 17. Poland, Croatia, Australia, Ukraine, Bolivia, Uzbekistan, Portugal, Honduras, Belgium, Ecuador, Latvia, Pakistan, and El Salvador is going to round out the top 30. But let's keep going down. This is where we're getting like 74s. That's like a C. It's like a high D. Estonia, Denmark, Paraguay, Kazakhstan, Slovenia, Guatemala, Kenya, Nigeria, Costa Rica, Finland clocking in at number 40. 4-0. Four Whoa. That's not good. Uh, let's see. We got uh, Lusania, Bangladesh, Peru, Indonesia, the Dominican Republic, Netherlands, South Africa, USA, Malaysia, Colombia, China, clocking in at number 15, 51 rather. And when we get into these lighter colors, that's like the worst. That's like the least effective anti-smoking policies on earth. The least effective anti-smoking policies on earth. So we're looking at Ooh, Japan, that's a bummer. Uruguay, Taiwan, Nicaragua, Chile, Brazil, Panama, Venezuela, Argentina, Norway, Mexico. Ah, fucking Australia. Almost damn near the bottom of the list. Zero. It gets a zero in everything. In fact, it's the first country to get a complete zero in everything, in vaping, heat not burn, snooze, pouches, everything, gonzo, Australia, zero, only above India, Qatar, Ch Thailand, Turkmenistan, and Vietnam. Australia is almost like, I mean, they're basically, is there a difference between Australia and India? If they both have a 64% and they both have zeros across the board, that's just level to me. That is, Australia is no different than India, no different than Qatar, no different than Thailand, no different than Turkmenistan, no different than New Zealand, no different than Vietnam, rather. They all love cigarettes and they all have no, like nothing for vaping, nothing for heat, not burn, nothing for snooze, nothing for, to, nothing for, you know, to nicotine pouches, nothing. It's at the bottom of the list. Only four countries are below it. Poor Australia. But as I said in the beginning of the stream, I'm a little bit uh, more hopeful for Australia than I ever have been because Colin Mendelson, oh God, fun police. I didn't realize he was still on the screen. Go away, fun police. No, 
You can't have anything fun. It's a slippery slope, man. It's a matter of time before they're like, oh, remember what Mike Bloomberg tried to do in New York? Ban large sodas because New Yorkers were too fat? Mike Bloomberg's like, mm, meh, meh, meh. you can't have a large soda. You're too fat. <laughs> and people were like, hey, eat shit, Mike Bloomberg. Now Mike Bloomberg's like, meh, meh, meh. you can't have nicotine. And people are like, oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Uh, I have no nicotine. No nicotine's bad. Nicotine's bad. I'm optimistic about Australia. I'm the most optimistic that I am right now only because, and I don't have the video. I, I, I need to track down the video of Australia, but Colin Mendelson, our, our friend, friend of the stream, friend of Grim Green, Colin Mendelson, doctor, pardon me, doctor Colin Mendelson testified uh, in front of parliament in Australia and really, really laid some truths on him. Really, really laid some truths on him. Australian members of parliament seem to be like just brain dead, like their brains fall out. There was one person in Australia asking like, um, do e-cigarettes have filters on them? And the doctor woman was like, um, no, they don't require a filter because there's no particulates in, in the aerosol, so there's nothing to get trapped by a filter. A filter would be useless. And then the guy comes back and goes, yeah, but shouldn't they have filters like cigarettes? And then she goes, no, because there's no particulates in the vapor. Burr. It's like explaining vaping to like a six-year-old. You just walk up to a congressperson or a, a member of parliament and you're like, hi, hi, happy, happy, smiley day, smiley day. Vapor doesn't have particulates, so it doesn't need a filter. Hope that helps. And then the member of parliament's just like, uh, uh, I don't, I don't get it. Uh, why does it have a filter? I thought... Smoking is supposed to have filter. Colin Mendelson went to Parliament, laid some truths on them. I believe this is a prediction that's not going to come true, but I'd like it to come true. I think Australia is going to turn around on their prescription model sooner than the UK is going to turn around on their tax and flavor bans. That's what gives me hope. Fucking clown shoes, bro. It's clown shoes. But I think that Australia is going to turn around their prescription model quicker than the UK is going to stop their tax and ban from Ruji Sunyak, who, I don't know, doesn't have anything else to run on. So he's running on protecting the kids from nicotine, apparently. That's how that works. So that's my optimism for Australia. I'm more optimistic about Australia than I am about the UK, which is a crazy thing to say. I mean, we spent how many times, you guys? Years. Scott, year, years, years praising the UK. I even had a bumper from Andy over in the UK that's like, meanwhile, in the fucking UK, and they're doing everything right. You know, they're promoting it. They're talking about harm reduction. They're telling smokers to quit. They're giving out free vapes. It was like the UK was untouchable for a while until little mini Mike Muppet Mouth Bloomberg got his greasy, rancid, stinky ass tentacles into the United Kingdom. And it started with Ash, and it started with Bath, and now it's into the Royal College of Physicians, and now it's worked its way up into Parliament. It's I like that I like you know, I like that billionaires who were unelected can just decide things for us. What would we do without billionaires deciding things for us? You know? We'd be left to our own devices, our own decisions, our own, you know, sense of moral right and wrong and freedoms. But no, thankfully, thankfully, we have billionaires who know better than us to tell us what to do and to force us, for lack of a better term, to tell us what to do. It's bananas. It's bananas. 
But on top of all of that, let's open some mail. Uh, it's 720 and I'm just getting to mail. I think I, I do believe vaping is still going to win. There, there's just no way around it. Vaping is absolutely still going to win. It's just a matter of time. On top of all of that, let's open some mail. Too much mail. We might have to bump a liquid tasting. Even though I said it was going to be all liquid tastings tonight, I was wrong. I hope you can forgive me. Let's open some mail. Oh, almost didn't make it back in time. There's a bunch of mail, you guys. There's a bunch of mail. Tuck in because this is where we're going long. Holy shit. I went too long. I went too long. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I went too long. Uh, yes. Yes. Blue this is the problem, Earn. Bloomberg won't live forever, but his money will influence forever. And, you know, Earn, there's a sp uh, small part of me. It's a small part. I'd rather, you know, people quit smoking. That's the goal. You know, that's the dream. That's the vision. That's the mission. People stop smoking. Switch to vaping. Drastically improve your life. But there is a small part of me that takes a little bit of comfort in knowing that we're spending Mike Bloomberg's money. <laughs> There's a little part of me that's like, millions of dollars who am i i'm just grim green on the internet oh looks like you got a community note there world health bummer i guess millions of dollars can't erase community notes can it world health can it mike bloomberg sure buddy throw another 60 million at it you can go ahead and waste that money too a little part of me enjoys knowing that we're wasting Mike Bloomberg's money. And an even bigger part of me loves that we're like cutting into big tobacco cigarette sales. Like Altria fucking hates us, dude. Like Altria put out like press release after press release blaming disposables for their dip in cigarette sales. And knowing that Altria hates disposables because it cuts into their cigarette sales kind of makes me want to defend disposables a lot more than I have in the past because we're basically giving a big middle finger to, to big tobacco. Everybody that vapes a disposable, you're doing a service by giving the big middle finger to big tobacco because it's cutting directly into their cigarette sales. Directly. And the only thing they said, they said, how do we get cigarette sales back up? Well, FDA is going to have to enforce a disposable ban. That's the only way that Altria can get their cigarette sales back up is if FDA enforces a disposable ban. I love that. Fuck Altria. Fuck Big Tobacco. Fuck Mike Bloomberg. Waste your money. Vaping's going to win. Try as you might. Vaping's still going to win. And I do believe that. So I'm sorry. Let's, uh, let's, uh, I've got mail. All right. We got some Waxpa. Waxpa. I've I feel like I've reviewed a lot of Zlims lately, but now we got the Zlimgo. The Waxpa Zlimgo. Fucking A, Oxpa Zlimgo. Nicely done. Looking forward to the Oxpa Zlimgo. If this is cross compatible with their other Oxford pods, then it's like it's immediately a winner. I just want to get a look at this. Yeah, it looks compatible. Hang on. I'm going to put this CRC pod in here. Compatible. Enjoy the show compatible compatible all right ox was limb go should be a fairly easy review right there you know i feel like i've kind of already reviewed it Corey, you're a replay crew happy to see you here happy to see you here on the live we're live right now Are we live? See that just, no. 
Let's get on a let's get on a tipsy uh Cross four. Earn, it's here. It's the cross four. It's the cross four mini. It's the other cross four mini. And it's another cross four. Hell to the yeah, dude. Point eight. Point eight. We've never had a point eight. We now haven't had a point eight from from Vapresso. They only do a point seven and a point nine. We got a point eight pod. Sorry, I'm just really excited about that. <laughs> I love the crosses. I love the crosses. I can't even tell you how like successful the cross has been. Like people hit me up constantly on comments and DMs talking about. The cross, the cross, the cross got me to quit smoking. The cross got me to quit smoking. Thank you for this review. The cross got me to quit smoking. So look, I stand by the cross. Cross four. All right. Thank you. All right. Uh, this I already opened. Oh, yeah. It's some more life pod, you know. It's a few more life pod things. There's another life pod and then there's like a refillable Life pod. Package like a disposable. But there's no uh there there ain't no pod. It's just a battery, you see. Where's the pod? <laughs> hey buddy. Where, 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 where's the pod? Is that weird to open a package and then it's just a battery? It's literally just a battery. Life, oh, oh, wait, it's pre-filled? Refill cartridge, what flavor are you? Hang on. Hang on, I think I figured this life pod out. Nope. It's just this. Oh, oh, it's a disposable that goes into a battery? Maybe not. It looks like it's supposed to. Yeah, there it is. So it's a disposable that's not it doesn't have a battery, but it goes into the battery. So it's a pod. They like reinvented a pod system. What? What is that? What? What? <laughs> what? Why is it disposable that goes into a battery? The refillable pod. The refillable disposable. Oh, you mean a pod? It's like, oh, now we have a rebuildable atomizer. Right, nothing going on there, no buttons. Yeah, this doesn't do nothing by itself. This this flavor is literally called Can you see it? 5% nicotine. No, you can't see it anywhere on there. Can't, there it is. Get, there it is. Let's switch to this camera. This camera's better. It's called Candy Ice. Candy Ice? Candy Ice. They are. They're just giant pods. Fifty milligram is way too much. It tastes like candy. 
I don't know. It's just hot sweetness. It's just warm sweetness. Yeah, it's a pre-filled pod, Sally S. It's a pre-filled pod, and then it kind of slides into this battery. You can see the lights happen when I do it. Lights! too much nicotine that's too much it kills my throat straight up kills my throat but it's the life pod that's a disposable that's not a disposable but it's kind of a disposable all right i guess uh i guess i'm gonna review this life pods there you go appreciate you let's get into some more things If there's a reason, like if there's a reasonable reason why I keep putting my knife away, I'd like to know about it because I just keep putting my knife away even though I look down and I'm like, oh, look, there's like 60 packages down there. You could put your knife away. Put it away. You don't, you don't need that. You, you don't need that nonsense. Rebuildable disposable. It's coming. It's coming back around. Okay. Okay. I don't, I can't necessarily show you this, but if anybody watched my review for the Haiti RDA, did anybody watch that review? Did anybody watch a review for the Haiti RDA? I may have mentioned in passing that there was a 30 millimeter dual battery squonk coming out soon. I mean, I'm not trying to ruin it for you. But that's something you're not allowed to see. Nope, not allowed to see that yet. That's not out yet. That's not out yet. It's, it's, it could be, it's gonna be. Cutouts. We get, dude. We got. We put cutouts on the side. We put like empire cutouts on the side. Dual eighteen six fifty. Look at the size of the squonk bottle. Huge. That's that's like one and a half times the size of the original empire squonk bottle. These cutouts. That was important to me. Anyway, that's all I'm going to stop saying about that. But. For anybody uh, who's uh, maybe like you're, you're bored of your topside dual and you're like, hmm, maybe I want another dual 18650 30 millimeter squonker. I got you, fam. I got you. I'm going to have to set this up tonight and start using it immediately. Immediately. I've been using it uh, without uh, the squonk function. I've just been using it as an RDA with an RDA to like test out the... You know, to really test the chip. Whoops. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just fine. Just. I know what this is. I know what this is. Oh, you guys, this is going to be a good mail. This is going to be good. Uh, you know, Giovanni, I cannot uh, confirm or deny the existence of a dual battery uh, empire. I can't confirm the existence of a dual battery 30 millimeter empire. I can't. I can't say that confidently. If you catch my damn drift, earn, it's all I've been doing. I've been running my other Empire uh, SB at 120 watts consistently for like two months now. You know what this is? You know what this is? You know what this is?
What? What? It's crooked. What? The Reload S Pro. The Reload S Pro RDA, dude. The Reload... I'm going to... Let me look at this deck real quick. Let's take a quick look at this deck. I really don't think we're going to be able to do any liquid tastings tonight, and that upsets me, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We might be able to do one. We might be able to do one. Hey, now. Single coil banger. Single coil banger. It's a little recurvy. It's got that, like, uh, little little cradle of meshed out airflow right there. Single coil. Top down airflow. Boosh. That's a good looking RDA. I have to pee again because of the beer. I have a question to ask, uh, like li like anybody with a dick that pees standing up, anybody with a dick that pees standing up, do you ever um, <laughs> lift up the toilet lid and lift up the toilet seat and then, you know, you pee into the empty toilet, but do you ever like lean and like rest your knee on the toilet? As I do that all the time and I just think I'm the only one that does it. But like you, you know, you go and then you like rest your knee on the toilet while you're peeing. Does anybody do that? If you don't do that, you should try it. You, you should try it. If you don't do that, you should try it. Just rest your knee on the bowl. <laughs> and then it makes it a lot more comfortable. All right. That airflow is smooth as crazy. That airflow is smooth smooth no julio no nobody does that don't touch the toilet yeah i mean don't touch the toilet but you rest your head against the wall okay i could see that you rest the head against the wall i will kneel like you know the toilet it's like this is the toilet right there and you go zoop, and you're like peeing and the toilet seat is up and the lid is up but you can just go like just put your knee on the toilet and you just let it go Nobody does that? Really? Nobody does that? No men do that. Okay. Well, I do. Nobody do You can't do that? Too tall? Try it. Try it. It might change your life. It might change. You never know. You never know until you try it. I guess it is kind of gross, like putting your knee on a toilet rim. Like, that's kind of gross. That's kind of gross. But I've done it. I, ju I literally, like, I just did it. I literally just, just, just did it. Okay. Well, we got a Reload Vapor S Pro RDA. Um, there's not going to be a vape fiddle next week, but when the fiddle comes back, there will be a Reload S to build. It's weird. Okay. Lost Methods just pees on the toilet seat. That's fine. I mean, that's acceptable. What if the knee is lower than the toilet? I mean, possibly. It might not work out for everybody. I have a weird body, though. I have weird proportions uh, in my body. I'm, I'm, I'm six feet tall. I, I clock in right at six feet. Maybe a little bit over, but, you know, I'm not trying to brag or anything like that. But I'm right at about six feet. I'm about six foot, six foot and a half. A little over six feet. Just, like, confidently, I'm six feet. 
but my inseam is only a 30, sometimes a 29, which means I have little short legs and a big long torso. And that's just my body. That's just how I've existed my whole life. Casey and I, my wife and I, have the exact same inseam. We, I can get in her Mini Cooper and not have to adjust the seat. She can get in my car and not have to adjust the seat because our legs are basically the same length. But all of my height is from the waist up. You know, it's from the waist up. So maybe the dimensions for kneeling are only for short-legged people, right? Like that's kind of, maybe that's what I'm thinking is if you have short legs, like a 29 in inseam, you could rest your knee on the toilet. It's really relaxing, you know? It's really relaxing. The janitor, thank you. I wish I didn't know this about me either, you know? I wish I didn't know this about me either. But here we are. Here we are, and uh, there's no going back, you know? <laughs> there's, just, there's just no going back. Let's keep going into some of these packages. Try it. You know, I'm telling you, try it. Okay. Okay. Fascinating. I'm fascinated by this. The Yacht Vape EDC 5 and one RBA. They say it can do a dot boro and a bottle opener. All right. Oh, oh, okay. It's a building tool. This doesn't make much sense. A building tool for dot AIO, a building pool for boro mod, a 510 adapter tool for boro mod, a bottle opener, and a window breaker. A window breaker, huh? I don't quite understand. Okay, that can go in your bridge, and then and then there's a 510 on top. But, but but what is that? Why does that? What is that? I'm so confused by this. I'm so confused by this in so many for so many ways, for so many reasons. That's weird, Jordy. Is that weird? Slater says this thing is rad as hell. I guess it's a coil builder. Like you could do spaced coils on this, right? Big spaced coils, humongous spaced coils. I, I've never been more confused as I am by this thing. It's a it's a five in one building tool for dot AIO, building tool for boro mod, five ten adapter for boro mods, a bottle opener and a window breaker. Okay, that's the bottle opener. I guess this could be the coil tool, but that's huge. That's like four millimeters of spaced wire. I don't know what the holes for are in the top. I am so confused by this. Yeah, this part has to be the window breaker, right? The top. How is this a window breaker? All right, that's fine. I'm super confused by this. It doesn't make any sense. It looks giant. Those threads are huge. I don't know if I would wrap a coil around that. And then there's a 510 connection right there with 510 threading so that I could screw an RDA into this, into that threading. And there's like a contact for some reason. All right, Yacht Vape. Hey, thanks for the EDC but I have never been more confused in my life. I guess we're gonna have to take this for a test run soon. All right. It's fine, it's fine. This legitimately feels like a t-shirt. 
Is there a user confusion manual? All right, you're right. Let's look for a user confusion manual. Let's see. No. It's it, it's nothing. It's just one one here that just says it's a five in one building tool. Building tool for .aio, building tool for BoroMod, 510 adapter tool for BoroMod. What's a 510 adapter tool? Yacht Vape V8. It's from Yacht Vape. And there's no nothing else. And it looks like this. That's clearly the bottle opener. I guess this is for coils. I don't know what these holes are for. I don't know what the tip is for. I certainly don't know what that 510 is for. It's a Boro 510 adapter tool. What does that even mean? What does a 510 adapter Boro tool do? What? Tell me. Please explain this. It's a tool to adapt 510s. Duh, Cicero. <laughs> Duh, Cicero. For building on your yacht. Whoa, 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 whoa. This came from Sweden? <gasps> what? Who bought me this? Seamus? Chef Seamus? I never had a good Vaconis shirt. Holy shit. That's rad as hell. Holy shit. Seamus, that's cool, man. Dude, that's cool. I love this band. I love Vaconis. Vaconis. Grasping time. Dude. Thank you, Seamus. Oh, happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Fucking A, Seamus. That's cool, man. Thank you. Vaconis merch isn't, like, easy to track down. I know. I've tried. Big part of me hope it's a bootleg. That's fucking sick. Vaconis grasping time. Thank you, Seamus. Happy birthday. Thank you. Dude, that's awesome. That's a rad fucking t-shirt. All right, well, now that Seamus is here, let's get into the rest of this. Here's the thing. There's all sorts of propaganda on here. Maggots? The maggots are falling like rain. Maggots. Maggots. Flavor Town inside. This end up. Box of chocolates. What's going on over here? This end up, lordy lordy, Nick is old, 47, me too, look below. Maggots, maggots, the maggots are falling like rain. Maggots, 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 maggots. The maggots are falling like rain. Now in the halls of the Necro Lord. Flash of fear when he sees my sword. I uh, raped his woman, smoked his bong. Left a booger underneath his throne. Greetings and salutations. Welcome to your birthday boosh box of chocolates. Inside you will find yourself in Flavor Town, starting with some tasty beverages. One bottle claims to be an ale, but to me, it's a sour. The other bottle is a favorite of mine from this particular brewery. You will also find two cans of reduced harm beverage that will be good as a float. Next is several, five, I believe, bottles of e-liquid for my favorite Facebook craft liquid mixers. Whoa. Bottle limited edition collab. Dude, sick. Did as a retro vape? All right, all right, all right. I don't want to read this whole thing, you know. Some privacy. Skip around the room. Skip around. Oh, holy shit. Kevin Chocolate. 
Why did I think this was Seamus? This is Kevin fucking Chocolate. Kevin Chocolate. Kevin Chocolate. Kevin Chocolate. Hashtag Grim Army. Hashtag Harm Reduction. Hashtag Power Bomb the World. Hey, love you. Hey, Kevin Chocolate. Fucking love you, man. If you really enjoy the liquids, look up UGF on Facebook. Uh, Damian Doyle is a wizard, an all-around awesome guy. Give him a shout-out. Shit, yeah, Damian Doyle. Apparently, UGF on Facebook is quite the liquid mixer. Hell yeah, Kevin Chocolate. Hang on, I'm going to save this note. Let's get into it. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, now. Oh. 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 That's cool. We're going to float that. And. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Dude, root beer. Root beer life. Root beer life. Wait, wait, wait. There's a thing here. Oh, this is. This is a thing. It's an RDA, it's an RTA, it's an RDA. Whoa, hey now, what's this? Is this a Hadley? I don't even know what this is. The OB46 from Cyclone? Oh, Hadley, yeah, Hadley. Oh, holy shit. Why are you say Hadley, bro? Hadleys are sick. Kevin Chocolate with the Hadley. But wait, there's even more. Trolls, 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 trolls from Three Floyds Brewing right there, mother trucker. And shit, Kevin Chocolate. This is a serious package, bro. And bah! Oh, that was probably a bad thing that happened. Oh, it's gonna be uh, nice and shaken up, but we have a Felder find. Oh god, it's leaking. Oh god, it's leaking. It hit the ground and started leaking. Uh-oh. That's probably no good. Probably a bad thing. Dude, this high... No, I'm not allowed to have 10% ABVs anymore in this stream. It's just not allowed. Oh, fuck yeah. Look at that. Look at that RDA stand. That's sicker than tits. Holy shit. The REM. Is this a real REM? Holy shit, we got an OG REM in the house. We got an OG REM RDA in the house. I like this thing. I got a REM at VaporCon. Shit, yeah, REM. But wait, holy shit, there's actually more. Wait, Kevin Chocolate. There is more. Hey now, pumpkin spice, that sounds great. UGF Elite, all right. I don't know what that is, but it's UGF. And then, oh, more UGF, that's my jam. Can I put it somewhere? No, I'm going to put it right here. And then more UGF, that lemon, and then Shiznana Gans. What? What flavor is this? Shenanigans. What's sh oh, shenanigans. Shenanigans? Shenanig shenanigans. The leaky beer is a 17%. That's exactly what I needed tonight. I'm not slurring my speech enough. I ain't slurring my speech enough, you see. 
We need uh, we need another seventeen percent beer. That's not seventeen percent. Seven percent. Okay, seven percent. Thirteen percent. That this is a thirteen percenter. Whoa! You weren't kidding. You weren't kidding. Wow. All right. Well, shit. Kevin Chocolate, thank you for the UGF liquids. I'm excited to try these. I'm excited to try these. And fucking pumpkin spice. Mother truck and pumpkin spice. A beer, a beer, a liquid, a beer, a skull, a root beer. Barks and mugs. Come on. Should I just stone cold these? Oh, hell yeah. That's my best stone cold impression. <laughs> hell yeah, Kevin Chocolate. Hell yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Dude, we got beers. We got delicious things. Got delicious things. Okay, then this one, this is the one from Seamus. Okay. Okay. This is the one from the chef, Seamus. Thank you, fucking Kevin Chocolate. Flavor profiles on the label. That's my jam. Oh, uh, mixed berry jam, cream cheese cookie, banana cream pie. Banana cream pie. Bro, banana cream pie? A lemon? Uh, that lemon. A savory, sweet, enriched baked lemon dessert? Are you vouching for all these Kevin chocolate? I feel like you wouldn't have sent them to me if you weren't vouching for them, you know? I feel like you got to vouch for them. And I think this is the one from Seamus because it says chef. The chef. Hey now, guava goze. We got whoops, guava goze. We got a fucking guava goze, bro. Guava goze. You don't even know. What? What? Seamus. Not allowed. Not allowed. You jerk. That's too cool. That's too cool. Hang on. We got a Waterloo Guava Lime Radler. Ripe pink guava collides with juicy lime to create lip-smacking new take on a classic Radler. This seasonal sipper is sweet, tart, and refreshing all at once. Look at that Waterloo Radler. And there's a record. There's a mother trucking record in here. A mother trucking record. Kevin Chocolate says that lemon is the best lemon I've ever had. I can vape a whole bottle with no problem before I even know it. That's that's a lot. You're saying a lot about that lemon. That's a big statement there, fella. All right, we're going to try to squeak in a liquid tasting tonight, too. Dude, Seamus, like... That's messed up. That's messed up, Seamus. It's messed up. Hey, Nick. Happy birthday, man. Just a few gifts for you. One, uh, I couldn't include in this box, but we'll be arriving separately. Is it the Vaconis t-shirt? I also tossed in a drawing of Bushzilla Thanks to Slater's prompt. Hope your birthday was stellar and you got some well-deserved rest and relaxation. Shirts off in the pit. Shirts off in the pit. Oh, look, it's a Boozilla. Whoa, is this a Slater original? Did Slater draw this with his with his hands? Cause that's rad. What's up, Boozilla, with an extra long drip tip? Flipped up California hat and a Dixon flannel on. That's sick. That's awesome. 
Fucking Boochzilla? Get out of here. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, Boochzilla. Put this on a t-shirt. Put this on stickers. We make Boochzilla stickers. Thank you. Seamus, thank you. And look, it's not done. There's a vinyl album in here. There's a vinyl album in here. And it it happens to be one of my favorite movies slash soundtracks like literally of all time. I can't even explain to you. The Touch, Instruments of Destruction, The Death of Optimus Prime, Dare, Dare, Dare to Believe You Can Survive. Nothing's gonna stand in our way. Not tonight. Every song on this is good. And this is from the Transformers, the original Transformers movie. The original Transformers movie. The original Transformers movie, it, it's... Can I look at this? Can I take this out of here? Does it devalue it? Does it devalue it? Holy shit. Dude, this is amazing. This is amazing. This is like unbelievable. The Transformers, the movie soundtrack on vinyl. This is like, this is in leagues with like rad. This is like in leagues with rad for like the best movie, best soundtrack of literally all time of all time ever of all time. And it's got uh, Dare to be Stupid. It's got a Weird Al song on here. Dare to be stupid. <laughs> Dare to be stupid. It's so good. Dare to be stupid. You got the touch. You got the power. Yeah. Bam, 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 bam. The touch. Holy shit. Seamus. The, yeah, Damien, this is beyond dope. This is like, dude, I got the fucking Transformers tattooed on me. I like them so much. And you know what's awesome is I just watched the trailer for Transformers 1. How dope does Transformers 1 look? It's a prequel. It's a prequel. Optimus Prime is Orion, Orion Pax. Just like the comic books. <laughs> just like the comic books. Dude, plus Weird Al. This is the only place that Dare to be Stupid is on, I think. I don't think it's on any other Weird Al albums. I think it's only on the Transformers soundtrack. Plus, like this movie, Eric Idle, Judd Nelson, Leonard Nimoy, Robert Stack, and Orson fucking Wells did the voices for this. Leonard Nimoy as Galvatron is probably one of my favorite like cartoon voices in the history of cartoon voices. Ah, this is feeling me, filling me with so much nostalgia. So much nostalgia. Dude, Seamus, that is a solid, solid ass way to end the mail with Boozilla and the Transformer soundtrack. I mean... Seriously. Seriously, holy shit. Seriously, holy shit. Seriously, holy shit. Oh, uh, wait, those are three Floyds brews? Oh, yeah, they're three Floyds, buddy. They're three Floyds. Foender Fiend. Foender Fiend. Foender Fiend. Little Misfits tribute right there. It's not normal. Foender Fiend. We got Waterloo Brewing. Fucking Collective Arts Guava Gose. I'm stoked. I'm stoked on these beers. We got more beers for the more vlogs coming up. Just a quick reminder. No vlog next week. No vlog next week. But let's wrap this up. Uh, it's 8 p.m. That's way too late for random liquid tasting, but it's gonna need to happen. But before that, we might not be able to get to a random liquid tasting, you guys. 
I, I'm, I'm sorry about this, but we might just might not be able to do it. I really want to. Dee Dee, if you have room, can you add my two brothers, two nephews, and my great niece and my dog Sophie to the birthdays? Okay. Two brothers, two nephews, your great niece, and your dog Sophie. All right. That is a busy month, Dee Dee. That is a really... Okay. Two bro, two nef, and your dog Sophie. I forgot to sing happy birthdays. I didn't forget. We just didn't get to it till right now. Tim, I'm going to make the best of tonight. Boosh 9000, shirts off in the pit, shirts off in the pit. Tim, I love you, man. I hope you've been, I hope you've been, uh, I hope you've been having fun tonight. Susan, that's very gracious of you. Give your dad a big hug for me, one for you too. Susan, easily done, easily done. I got no problem hugging my dad. Literally zero problem. He'll get a big one from you. And, and thank you, Susan, for that hug. I appreciate that. Hella chats, hella chats, hella chats. Let's see. All right, nope, that's it. We're, we're caught up on the hella chats, Raw Chuck. Appreciate you, Raw Chuck. Hey, Raw Chuck. Hey, bump that fist, buddy. Appreciate you. I hope you're doing awesome. Tim. Uh, when I talk to my customers about vaping, I tell them that they are 95% safer than smoking. Not 100% safe, but it is 95% safer than smoking. Come on, FDA. Come on. Yeah, 100. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I couldn't agree with you more. I could not agree with you more. Like, I'm sorry. Maybe it's the booze talking. We've established this. Cigarettes harm every organ in your body. Every organ that you have and you use, cigarettes harms them. So honestly, and this isn't like, you know, anything is better than that. Heat not burn is better than that. Vaping is better than that. By an order of magnitude, 95% safer than harming every organ in your body is a huge win. Huge win. It makes me insane. Yeah. FDA. Allie, that's very gracious of you. I was late today, no excuses, but was setting up camp at a place called Convict Springs. Sorry, bro, it won't happen again. Oh, F the FDA. Here's the thing, Allie, it can happen again. It can happen again. I'm not a stickler. You know, I'm, I'm, not the, I'm not a stickler for the rules like that. J Money Landshark, listen, I'm biased, but bird watching is pretty great. Listen, bird watching is pretty great. We have uh, three bird nests that we allow to be in like our overhang of our house, like right on the outside by the pool. There's three bird bird nests there, and uh, we let birds use them when it, whenever they want. We're like, three bird families can have a safe nest for the, for the season to raise their young. And so I like our birds, and I like getting to know our birds. And there's a, uh, I think it's called... You hear Murphy? White chested. I think it, yeah, it's called a white chested Phoebe. There's a white chested Phoebe bird that comes to our pool all the time and it lands on the fence and we're like, oh, hey, Phoebe. And it lands by the pool and then it like dips in and out of the pool like a bird bath. And it's this black bird with a big white chest white chested Phoebe. So we call her, we call it Phoebe. It comes by all the time. We had ducks for a while. Look, I'm all about bird watching, bro. Let's go bird watch. <laughs> Let's go. Let's watch birds. Sidetrack searching for a cigarette. You sound like me in my previous career of a lawyer. Really? I'm taking that as a compliment. Trap musing. I'm taking that as a compliment. You're telling me I sound like Jeff Winger? Huh? Is that it? You're telling me I am Jeff Winger? You're telling me that I am exactly like Jeff Winger? <laughs> Appreciate you. LY, thank you for your review on the Ragnarok Grim. I will be ordering the tall boy. I will be ordering some of the tall boy rags next batch. All right. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. 
L-Y, my pleasure. The pleasure is all mine. Brownie says, I'm not aware of the current state of vaping in the U.S., but I'm moving to Missouri from the U.K. this year. Is there anything important that I should know? I don't think so. I don't, there's no taxes on e-cigarettes. Uh, the only thing in Missouri is nicotine has to be in a child resistant container. Can't be sold to anybody under 18 vending machine sales are restricted, restricted anybody you're under 18. You need a license. Uh, you can't use it in public, public buildings, but otherwise it seems like there's no PMTA registry bill. And it seems like there is also no flavor ban or taxes or any sort in the Missouri. Great. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Although, you know, I don't really like to recognize Missouri as a state. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know where that came from. I'll be cold in the, I'll be dead in the cold, cold ground before I recognize Missouri. Fishy. That's very gracious of you. So brownie in closing should be good. You should be good. And here's the thing. The U.S., you know, it's like you can you can like do some crime. You can like break some laws. You know, it's not like oh, real like super strict. If you're vaping where you're not supposed to be vaping, it's like uh, you know they're not. It's like we have a, a very booming illicit market in the U.S. for a reason. It's just there's something about that like. U.S. American mentality where we're like, ah, I can probably get away with that. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's uh, it's not that, you know, we, it's like black market, does you know, illicit disposables in convenience stores. The 7-Eleven, like two blocks away from me, sells illicit disposables. So it's like, uh, are, you know, there uh, you can kind of just skirt a little bit, you know, and I'm not encouraging people to do crimes, except I always am. But, you know, it's the U.S., so it's like, uh, you can kind of, uh, you know, it's like suggested. It's like suggestions. <laughs> you know? That's the only way I can describe it. I think you'll be just fine. Fishy says, okay, this whole work thing encroaching way too much on vlog day hangs time these days. This needs to be rectified stat. Hope all the cool kids are having a top notch day. Top notch day. Much love to everyone. Yo, yo, mother truckers. Hell yeah, Fishy. And you're right. You are working too much. You are. You're working way too much. Raw Chuck giving me some. Uh, <laughs> if anyone can build this, it's you. Yeah, it's the it's the Griffin. I know. I know what that was for. It's leaking all over the place. If you were curious, just because I, I just picked it up. Look at this. It's crazy. Just leaking everywhere. How did that happen? I packed that little hole so full of cotton, I didn't think anything could leak out of it, but here we are. <laughs> here we are, Griffin25. <laughs> you spoke too soon, Rawchuck. I, I cannot build this. That's true. These are true facts. How is it still dry? That's the question I'm asking. How, how is it still dry? while it's leaking while it's actively leaking it's still very dry those coils are dry how is that possible dry that was dry how it overwicks it overwicks and then dries out how does that work haze clue me in how does that work As was predicted. That's right, Sunday Night Drunk. That was predicted. Kind of, I think, like, at least 50% of the people in the chat said it was going to leak. Cheers. I drank the whole thing, dude. <clears throat> whole beer. And that's why we're running long. And that's why we're running long. All because of alcohol. The Proud Canadian says, Hi, Nick. I'm in Canada, and I'm pretty pissed at the pot potential flavor ban. Yeah. Did you go to rights for vapors? Did you do the petition? There's a lot you can be doing. 
and uh, do the petition. That's a big deal. That's a big thing. Uh, they actually kind of listened to the petition last time and stopped the flavor ban. So I'm hoping that the flavor that the petition can help kind of like uh, s slow the roll of the flavor ban. I want I want Mark Holland. What's his name? Mark Holland. Mark Butler. No, that's Australia. I think it's Har Holland. Mark Holland up there in Canada. I kind of want him to know and realize like, dude, not everybody's on board with this. There's a shit ton of vapors that rely on flavors to not smoke cigarettes. Like, I know you're new here, but you kind of need to learn that. You kind of need to learn about harm reduction. It's unfortunate, Mark Holland, that you're not up to date with the latest science, but flavors undeniably help people quit smoking and banning them will only cause more cigarette smoking in the country. Period, point blank, that's how it's going to go. So again, I know you're new here, Mark. You just, you know, you're fresh off your stint at the Canadian Heart Association or whatever, and you're all about making some changes here in Canada or there in Canada, America's top hat or America's Canadian's pants. I don't know exactly how that works. I don't know if we're the pants or they're the top hat. One of the ways it works, but uh, I would be, I mean, <sighs> I can't predict anything about Canada because Canada has defied all of my predictions always. Always pre de defied all of my predictions always. So I'd like to say that if enough people sign the petition that there may not be a flavor ban or they might think twice about a flavor ban. But man, I can't say for sure. I can't say for sure. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Five bucks for teaching us Sar S Sardukar. Yeah. Um, Keep on vaping in Sardukar. You want me to redo it? I'm not, I haven't pr primed my chug muscles. So my Sardukar is, it's rusty. You know, it's a little bit rusty. I used to be fluent. I used, you know, I used to be fluent, uh, you know, because I was part of the Imperial, you know, the Imperium's army. Um, I used to be fluent in Sardukar, but I'm just not anymore. You know, I, all I remember how to say is uh, keep on vaping, <laughs> keep on vaping. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. I don't have a low enough voice. That's the problem. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm, at, I'm too out of practice. Oh, oh yeah. I, I hope you understand. Fishy, as an old boss of mine used to say, believe none of what you hear and only half of what you see. That is, that is, that is hitting with me. That is top notch. That is, that, yeah. That, that hits. That hits. Believe none of what you hear and only half of what you see. And honestly, I'm sorry I'm being so loud. That goes for me too. That goes for Grim Green. That goes for Grim Green. I want people to fact check me. I want people to make sure that I'm correct. I want people to try to be like, Grim Green was wrong about that. Because I'll, I'll happily say that I was wrong and I'd rather be correct than wrong, you know. So I hope that people fact check me. I try to be a, you know, a bastion of, of facts, of, of truth, but no one should take that for granted because we live in 2024 where literally everybody's lying to you always, whether that's through AI generated articles or AI generated pictures or AI generated videos. I find it really bizarre that on Twitter X, Grok, his uh, Elon Musk's AI bot writes headlines for news articles. And then there's a little disclaimer that's like, hey, Grok's not really super accurate and this could be incorrect. So you need to check it for yourself. And you go, oh, what the fuck? Like you're just making things worse? Like it's bad enough I had to deal with fake news and people lying in headlines and now I have to deal with AI making up articles and then all you have to do is put a little disclaimer that says this came from AI and might not be completely accurate. Fuck, wonderful. Rad. So there's another thing. There's another thing that we can't trust. Unbelievable. Mums. We should learn not to be addicted to listening to politicians. Ban politicians. We will govern ourselves in the family again. Hey, you're talking to a libertarian, my man. I, I'm fully capable of governing myself. 
<laughs> very fully capable of deciding what's best for me. I'm a big, uh, big advocate, big believer of bodily autonomy. Huge. Nothing is as important to me as bodily autonomy. The idea that you, you belong to yourself and yourself only. You have dominion over this body, this flesh vessel that we're piloting. That's you. Or yeah, and yeah, you just there. Politicians, it's you. It's come to a point where you just cannot believe anything they say, and it's really difficult when they say things you agree with, and you go, "Yeah, I I agree with that," but then you have to remember, you have to go, "Oh." It's a politician and like influencers that will say anything for a click or a view, they will literally do and say anything to get your vote. Literally do and say anything. It's always real interesting when there's the debates going on, you know, and you hear Kamala Harris just talking shit on Joe Biden, talking about his inconsistency and his war on drugs and the prison things and all this stuff. And then later, oh, they're friends. Oh, they're friends. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are friends now. They were just shit talking each other and now they're friends. Interesting how that works. It's almost as if it's all a big dog and pony show. It's almost as if it's a big charade, just a big performance, just political theater for all of us. I'm, this is too much booze. Fuck YouTube. Mr. Fun Police can eat a personal nicotine and, personal electronic nicotine inhalation system yeah uh he definitely can you mean this guy mr fun police mm. you're not enjoying yourself over here are you are you eating foods high in fat and sugar we should ban those too no enjoyment of anything for anybody all booze is banned all food is banned you're gonna eat a gray mush that's called human food Comes from a can. No fun. No vaping, too. Sorry. No vaping. Fun police. I'm the fun police. Mr. Fun Police. You're not having fun over here, are you? Those skateboards too loud? I think those skateboards are too loud. Man. Paul, thank you for helping me be five years sig free. Dude, hell yeah. Five years. Five years, Paul. Five years, Paul. Five years, Paul. Hell yeah, Paul. That's sick, man. I love it. That's the, that's just the God, that's the best feeling. Five years. Did you ever think you'd be five years cigarette free? That's bananas. Tommy Frost says fist bump from the UK, Grim. Hope you're well. I will take that fist bump from the UK. Here's a fist bump from California. Hope everybody in the UK is doing well. Hope you're all fighting against this flavor ban and fighting against these taxes because look, like I've seen people on Twitter, Twitter X that I admire and respect in the UK who are predicting that this is like the beginning of the end. I saw someone predict on Twitter today that by 2026, vaping will be completely outlawed in the UK, that there will be no vapes, complete vape prohibition in the UK by 2026. And this is someone who I respect. This is someone who bases their worldview on things like science and data. It's, it's bananas. It's bananas. My heart goes out to everybody in the UK, everybody in Australia. I mean, everybody in like Canada and the US too, as well. You know, I think, you know, I don't know. I honestly think like America is going to be okay. I think we're going to be fine. <laughs> it's going to come down to lawsuits and it's going to come down to like, look, you can't stop big business. 
Big business, we're an oligarchy in the United States. Big business runs everything. The political theater is literally just political theater because they're all bought and paid for by people with much more money than you, which is why it feels like you can't get through to any of them because you can't. Unless you have a checkbook with about a, a hundred zeros on the end of it. And then, then you can buy whatever politician you want. You can make them vote however you want. You can make them think however you want. You can convince them to convince their constituents to vote against their best interests. It's easily done. All you need is a billion dollars. It's all you need. It's all you need. Slay Durr. The EDC tool, it goes where your boro tank goes, and then you screw the thing in where the flush nut goes, and then you use the adapter to build your bridge. So there's not, okay. I'm so confused. There's no 510 threading up here. There's no 510 threading down here. There's only 510 threading right here, which is sideways. So you mean it goes in the billet box like vertically like this, right? So the low goes up and then that contact touches the billet box and then your atomizer goes in this non-threaded hole. The, the atomizer goes in the non-threaded hole and then it'll fire, it'll glow. And then, but what is this 510 threading for? And why is there an adjustable 510 in there? And why is this like 901 threading? Like this is reversed 510 threading. 510 threading goes in here, but then this part goes on the positive side of the billet box. I'm just, I'm just super confused. I'm just super confused. I mean, I think you're correct Slater, but Mr. Fun Police doesn't care. Shut up, put that away. Yacht vape. Fun police doesn't care about yacht vape. They don't care about yacht vape. Yacht vape is just the addiction industry. They're just uh, going to addict you. It's addicted. You, they addict you to nicotine. And, and you're, you're beholden to nicotine for the rest of your life. Evil. 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 Uh, okay, finally, lastly, the last super chat of the night. I am sorry that we can't do hella liquid tasting. I'm going to have to change the title of this stream, and I'm sorry. There was no liquid tastings tonight, and I had eight bottles of juice all set aside ready for the liquid tastings. Yep, they were all sitting here. Next vlog, next vlog. In fact, the next vlog will just be oops all liquid tastings, okay? The next vlog, I promise. In fact, I'm going to write it on the next vlog, which isn't next week. Oops, liquid. Oops, liquid. Okay. Oops, liquid for the next vlog, which is not next week. But oops, liquid for the next vlog. And then lastly, the last super chat coming from not the real Gerard Butler, Lee. I'm more like Kip Winger. You think I play like Kip Winger? No, no. You think I'm like Kip Winger? I don't know. She's only 17. 17. It's weird that Winger got away with writing a song in the 90s about banging 17 year olds. And we're like, oh, okay, eh, <laughs> just Winger. You know, rock bands are going to be rock bands. She's only 17. 17. That's what that song was about, Kip Winger. That's what that song was about, Kip Winger. Okay, well, here's the thing. We, we go, it's, I think it's time. Oh, birthdays. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This has been a little all over the place. 
It's been a little all over the place. All right, Demented Designs has another theory. Gold plate bottom threaded thing on top 510 thread with adjustable pin you put the RBA to build so the device lays flat. But that's not... So, okay, so it goes in upside down despite the logo. Okay, the logo is correct. Okay, so this goes against the 510 and then you lay it down sideways and then your 510 goes there, threads in there. Demented Designs, that actually makes sense. That actually makes a lot of sense. Holy shit. Dude, that makes sense. I assumed that this would go against 510 and then this goes out the top, but you don't actually put your atomizer here. You put your atomizer here. Okay. Uh, this is the weirdest little thing I've ever seen. And that Yacht Vape was like, the market needs this. The market needs this. Yeah, flush nut goes into the unthreaded hole. Right. So this goes against the 510. Flush nut goes in here, and then you lay your billet box on its back, and then you put your 510 in here. You put your atomizer on here, and then you can glow your coils. And then you can glow your coils. Look, who am I to argue with, with Yacht Vape? I don't want to argue with Yacht Vape. I don't want to argue with Demented Designs either. Building and Bushin, my guy. All right. Okay. Hey, that's kind of sick. That's kind of sick. Let's see. Dude, you guys, we are, uh, we're, we're, we're four hours into this vlog. So unfortunately, uh, I'm, I'm not going to do the liquid tasting tonight and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm a little bit tired. I'm a little bit beat. We've been going for four hours right now. That's four hours of nonstop talking Four hours hours of non-stop talking and that's just that's enough for to make anybody you know a a sleepy person for a vape vlog there hasn't been a whole lot of vaping has there so i think that's where we're going to end this Bangs head against the desk. I'm sorry, Slater. I think that's where we're going to end this. Um, I think that's where we're going to end this. Dude, this was a, a truly action-packed vlog. I can't believe I thought I was going to fit multiple liquid tastings in here tonight. I can't believe that. I thought I was going to... I should do five hours? I can't do five hours. I can't drink... Just another 10 percenter? I'll be good. Just shit it out. You'll be all right. Just shit it out. You'll be all right. Okay, that's right. Mallory, we do have to end with birthdays. We do have to end with birthdays. And I don't want Mr. Fun Police up here while we're ending with birthdays. He's like, hey, you singing birthdays up here? That's too much fun for the Fun Police. Mer. Look at him. He looks so fucking smug. Like he's just happy. He's just happy that vapors aren't going to have vapes anymore. He's like, hmm. Shows you fucking addicts. I saw an MP use the terminology of addict today. And I wanted to fly to the United Kingdom to punch him in the nuts. Addict? The fuck is wrong with you, bro? Addict? That's not the preferred nomenclature in any capacity. It's happy birthday time. It's it's happy birthday time. Next time, just tastings. Joe, yes. Hold me to this. Hold me to this. The next vlog, Joe, just tastings. Just tastings, no mail, no news, no, no just tastings, just one tasting after the other, just beer, liquid, beer, liquid, beer, liquid. That's how it's going to go. 
So, okay, we're going to sing happy birthday. I got to sing some happy birthdays to the happy birthday people because I'm a big fan of birthdays. I think it's, uh, you know, being a bodily autonomy person, it's like birthdays and bodily autonomy go hand in hand. It's the day that I became autonomous, you know. It's the day I gained bodily autonomy. I'm a big fan. I like it. And so we're going to sing happy birthday to the happy birthday. Here's the thing. The term addict for anything not cool. Fucking gross, man. That's gross shit. That's stigmatizing. That keeps people using. Calling someone an addict, it, It's it, as far as I'm concerned, it's a slur. I don't want to hear it ever again. I don't want to hear it ever again. It's why I try to say, like, I, I try not to avoid terminology like smoker because it's not, there's no humanity in that. There's no empathy in that. You're just, you're just distilling someone down to the habit that they have. And that's bullshit. And so I don't like the terminology of addict. It, it's, it's just gross. It's not person forward. It's really gross. It's dehumanizing. It's stigmatizing. It's awful. I don't want people calling smokers addicts. I don't want people calling anybody addicts. It's, a, it's, a, it's an old, outdated, gross stigmatizing terminology, stigmatizing terminology. And I'm not about that life. I'm not about that life. I like to defend the marginalized people, you know? That's why I give a shit about people who smoke cigarettes because I can't, I mean, they're, they're just like obscenely marginalized, obscenely marginalized. I'm on the team of the marginalized. If you're a marginalized person or a movement, I'm in your corner. I'm in your corner because fuck that. Fuck the man. Happy birthday, everybody. <laughs> I know we just switch rapidly, but that's what beer does. Everybody, please sing along. I love you. Let's sing along. Mm. Happy birthday to you guys. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. SVK Vapes, also a J Money Land Shark, also Dee Dee Dammit, and her two brothers, and her two nephews, and the dog Sophie, and Urn, and Asphalt Cowboy. Happy Skip around the room, skip around the room. You know what to do, you skip around the room. It's your birthday, skip around the room. Happy mother trucking birthday, birthday people. I hope you have a great birthday. And what I would suggest you do on your birthday is literally nothing. Don't go to work. Don't hang out with your friends. Don't get on the internet. Just do nothing. Just watch some TV, go out in the backyard, touch grass, smoke weed, drink beer, be yourself, be bodily, you know, be, be bodily autonomous, put weird things in you. <laughs> Happy birthday, everybody. Happy birthday to the birthday people. And that's it. I think we're actually done. This is the longest vlog in the history of vlogdom. Let me take a real quick look around the room. It's a mess. And uh, did you guys know that more than 700 housing units endorsed despite opposition from neighbors? Yeah. We call those people NIMBYs and they're not good people. I'm a YIMBY. I'm a YIMBY, yes, in my backyard. And now we're getting too political. So I'm going to end this stream. Hi. Thank you for coming to the vlog, everybody. I love this time. It's my favorite time of the week. I love hanging out with you guys. I love goofing off. I like opening mail. I like rage sweating about advocacy. Uh, I like having a cause. I like having this stream. I like having like just a, a really great, you know, really great subscribers, really great viewers. You guys are, I mean, <laughs> let's be real honest. A lot of what is enjoyable about the vlog is the chat and you guys make the chat fun. 
You guys make the chat awesome. You're just welcoming, you're helpful, and I, I couldn't ask for like a, a better audience. Seriously, seriously. And I'm not just saying that because there's a lot of beer in my system right now. I'm saying that because I mean it, because I love you guys, because vaping's gonna change the world and we're gonna help it. We're gonna help change the world. You realize this? We're gonna change the world, man. So from all of us here uh, at Vlog Day, at Mother Trucking Vlog Day, at Grim Green Industries, I'll say, uh, I want to say thank you. I want to say I love you. I want to say peace out. I want to say vlog day. I want to say MTVD. I'm going to say yo yo to my patrons. We're going to go hang out in just a bit. I'm going to get in there. We're going to hang out. And it's going to be awesome. And uh, wait, 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 wait. What? 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 Stormtroopers, baby. Stormtroopers. Stormtroopers all day long. Stormtroopers all day long. Stormtroopers all day Oh, no, although Darth Vader, look, I have a little corner over here on my cabinet dedicated to Darth Vader. Every Darth Vader toy, gift, action figure, clock is over in this corner. It's the Darth Vader corner. There's a bank. There's like a little piggy bank, a Darth Vader biggie, piggy bank over there. So, okay. So I'm going to say, bo I'm going to say Darth Vader over stormtroopers, you know, but Darth Vader on your throat is too much black. It's too much black ink. So... Raw Chuck, you're trying to be boring, but you fail because you're so funny and entertaining. So, you know, that's on you, my man. That's on you, my dude. Okay, I'm going to say goodbye, you guys. This has been a really fun-ass vlog. Um, remember, I'm not streaming at all next week. We're up in Santa Rosa visiting Dad. I might post some pictures on my Patreon, like on the on the Instagram. But other than that, I'm kind of be, going to be a little bit MIA. I hope to have a video out tomorrow, but I can't make any guarantees because, you know, life and things and shit. And uh, I just want you guys to know that I'm here. I'm here for it. I'm down for the cause. I'm, I'm literally not going anywhere. It's you and me and you and Grim Green until the end. Until vaping wins, I'm going to be here. I'm going to be gone now and then because of family things. But I will always be back and I will always be just exactly what, what I think we need, <laughs> you know, exactly what I think we need. I've been, I've been in this space for 15 years now. I've been in the game for 10 years making rap tunes ever since Honeys was wearing Sassoon's. I've been in this for a long time. It's my passion. I'm dedicated to it. I love it. I want to see us succeed. I want to see vaping succeed and spread across the world and just eradicate combustion. And, and that's what I believe in. And I'm not going anywhere, okay? Just so please trust me. Not going anywhere. Old Grim is here for the long haul. I'm here to stay. And then I'm, I'm just going to go spend some time with my dad. Spend some time with my dad. Give my stepmother a little bit of a break. <coughs> and uh, yeah, so that's where I'll be next week. And uh, I love you guys. Peace out. Be excellent to each other, please. And be excellent to yourselves. Um, be, be really kind to yourself. We, we have the tendency to be really hard on ourselves. And I'm really hard on myself sometimes. But we got to remember that, you know, we, we can't, we can't, we, we can't do everything. We can't do everything, you know, but we can do something. We can't do everything. So don't burn yourself out. This is just advice I'm giving to myself now. Don't burn yourself out. <laughs> Big love. Be excellent to each other. Uh, of course, I'll, I'll share some love. Of course, of course, with pop, with Papa Green. And uh, that's all. I love you guys. Thank you for being excellent. Thank you for being awesome. We're going to end this stream in the way that we end every stream. Every Grim Green stream ends with Omboy OC believing he can fly because it just puts a smile on my face because I love this man and he's a great person. And Omboy OC, appreciate you. Appreciate you guys. Thank you for coming out. It's vlog day. I'll, I'll see you here. I'll see you here in, in about two weeks. In about two weeks. 15 years cigarette free. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Yeah. And eradicate the fun police. 
Just get rid of the fun police. This guy has no business telling me what to do. Not even a little bit. Okay, I'm going to say goodbye. I love you guys. Peace out. Be excellent. Vaping's going to change the world. No vlog next week, but we'll be back when I'm back. Okay. Bye. Oh, wait.